This could be so much more interesting if Idris was still alive in that the higher level. I know, right? <laughs> All right, we are recording now. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of Bart's McGuffin, where everything's made up. The points don't matter. My laptop hates my guts. It died. As per usual, no, just my Wi-Fi. Constantly. It's in the process of dying. Do you beat your Wi-Fi? Uh. <laughs> Well, I have to say, our relationship, is, our relationship isn't as loving as it used to be. I think uh, she hates my guts, and she's seeing other men. Probably. Yeah, I think she's cheating on me with my dad right now and the whole football team. Anyway, so... <laughs> it's Moving right along. Yet. I know it's not 8.30 yet. We just had 8.30 early. <laughs> what time is so, it now? So 6.30 almost. It's 8.30 somewhere. So, <laughs> in the last episode, we have... Valerie Cry, she is a Forge Domain cleric. Uh, oh, I thought you were saying like Valerie crying was actually <laughs> something that happened last week. Um, Honestly, yes, yes, also. Yes, that's that's what's going to happen. Um, oh, oh. She kind of freaked out for a little bit. But yeah. Not a whole lot. Torin was frightened by the Kraken thanks to a uh, card he drew. Valerie. Oh, backing up. So, Valerie had never seen the docks or the ocean in her life. So, yeah. the party went to the docks and to the ocean to be like, this is what you're supposed to be this helping This is an out ocean. With. They ran into Jims, who is a cleric as well. We have lots of clerics now. And he's like... Jims was the halfling, right? Yes. Yeah. And he's like, I didn't write you've never there. seen the ocean before in your life. She's like, yes I have. I was just hit. In the head. Shut up. <laughs> so he suspects everything. As is his one. Because Jim's not completely stupid. Yeah, so... That's mostly stupid. He, yeah. um... As they're exploring the docks, they met Chakal's new boyfriend, who is the owner of the Wretched Catch. And they begin uh, cleaning the place up a bit. And it turns out that Chakal's actually a good cook. She's better at cooking than anything else. Uh, she places more value in pie than on not being killed by a Kraken. I mean, yeah. she's really good at being I mean, I hit, think, but... I think she's in the right in that respect. I mean, that pie is to die for. No. I mean, I think all of us no. would rather have pie than get killed by a kraken. No, no, it's no, she I would said, rather make a pie than not be killed by a kraken. Yeah, I said she places more value in pie mm. than not being killed by a kraken. Anyway, I so Savin's ex I, I showed up. <laughs> Savin's ex I showed mean, up and started wrecking stuff. And Savin was like, oh no. no. Um, I guess I see your point, but... I, I have to do oh, something, no. but there's nothing I can really do that can hit it. I'm going to cast, as a racial spell... A fog cloud, and as I chuckle, I flip through the DMG to or the player's handbook to see um, one of the Kraken's abilities. True sight. He can see into the astral plane. He can see the true shape of any shapeshifter. He can see through magical darkness or regular darkness. He can see through anything but fog. Apparently, he can't see through fog because it's not blind sense. <laughs> <laughs> so his legendary reactions and his normal actions he cast the cantrip gust to just blow that fog cloud away um to just hit whoever he wants with the lightning bolts he can't do cause he can't see them he, he could make an attack at disadvantage but you know uh he has a range of 30 feet with his tentacles and they're 40 feet away and when he moved up to them they moved a little back so he still couldn't reach them <laughs> the sailor he murdered Savin brought back to life. Yeah, we didn't need to do that, but he was there. Savin had revivify. We we didn't need to waste time doing that. We we waste just... time. It was a man's life. life. Some of us are good aligned. We also it was did a... like three or four rounds of combat that were really unnecessary. Um, yes. Running so, is always the best option. Um, he decided that and fine. If I can't see else. you, I'll break what you love, like this boat. And with his plus Dang. seventeen to hit, there's no way he can miss, um, miss the boat, unless he's insulted by a bard, <laughs> and rolls a natural one. <laughs> so he whips the boat. <laughs> then a halfling steps on the dock and tells him to run away, casting command. And he barely meets the saving throw. Barely. Barely. I'm fairly certain the Kraken has legendary resistances. Well, nope, he doesn't. What? The Kraken does not have legendary resistances. They're not resistant since uh, legend the saving throw thinks where he just chooses to succeed. That that's legendary. He doesn't. I checked. That's stupid. I know. It was incredible. I know. Because with his plus 11 to wisdom saves, he was insulted twice, took 10 damage total from Gregory. 
He failed to a level 2 cleric and took 10 damage from Toll the Dead. That was amazing. From a dwarf. <laughs> he almost ran away because a halfling told him to. By that point, he's like, wait a minute. No! I'm the Kraken! You're a halfling! To which James is like, oh yeah! We'll get you next round! And walk back to the fog cloud instead. Well, I'm out. That's it. Those are my spell slots. I'm done. Um. So, uh, the only reason that that sailor died was because the Kraken grabbed the guy and threw him into the, uh, the midst of all the rest, just trying to hit somebody. He started pulling up chunks of the dock, throwing them at people, trying to just hurt anybody, and he kind of, like, some splinters happened. He hurt my boat more the than else. The Kraken should have taken the boat with him. Just like, this is mine now. So what was supposed to be? With my own crew. I'm taking this! You can't stop me! <laughs> <laughs> this is my toy now! <laughs> So and another thing. I've got a new warlock and a crew. <laughs> so Grady, apparently sensing that I was rolling terribly that night after the what was supposed to be a ten minute encounter, just show off how ooh scary the kraken is and like you know you guys look at how to... easy it is to fight the kraken. Um, it was funny. It was hope. <laughs> yeah. Instead, he became a punching bag and a laughing stock. Which I mean, to be fair, it was that fog cloud. And only that fog cloud. That was the that that was was our only saving grace. <laughs> that was we probably would have all died otherwise. Because he can't see through water particles in the air. The Kraken can't see through water. <laughs> That's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> um, it it was I, I was trying to be mad at it, but it was I mean, just he does have telepathy, so he's got that going for him. Yeah. So it really hurt because later on, when they're at uh, the tavern, it was supposed to be 10 minutes, in and out, ooh, he's scary, they run away, yay, that's it. He breaks some stuff, maybe he kills Spriggan, but you weren't there. Um, yeah. Turned into, an, like, an hour and a half of them slowly insulting him and slapping him, <laughs> and then running away. Anyway, so sensing that I was rolling terribly that day, uh, Gregory decides that he wants to fulfill one of his life's dreams, to outdrink a dwarf. <laughs> so he gets into a drinking competition with Valerie. <laughs> And he successfully drinks her under the table. <laughs> Feeling tipsy and about to pass out, he decides to make one last spell. And he casts his sending to drunk text the Kraken. <laughs> to yes, which, he does. To whom he says, hey, you're not really so big a deal. You know, you're not so tough, man. <laughs> to which the Kraken replied, what happened to <laughs> me? Get this, number. <laughs> <laughs> this is an unlisted <laughs> telepathic <laughs> Kraken's just like... Kraken, former general right of the here. gods. Whoops. Has been insulted by a goat man, slapped in the face by a dwarf, and told to please leave now by a halfling. Yeah. It was also couldn't sad. See through a fog cloud. Couldn't see through fog made From by his, his ex. Previous champion. Yeah, that was great. It was a rough day for the Kraken. So, now you find yourselves uh, awake at the Sitting Duck on a somewhat somber day, as the town is. No matter how hilarious that was. Rather shocked to see a leviathan just, you know, casually stroll up on their beach and kill somebody, and that guy got brought into life, and he is needing therapy now, man. Like, he's just messed up. Send him to the temple, he'll be fine, probably. So, or just send him to the duck, he'll be fine there, too. I mean, Your options are religion or alcohol. Basically, yes. I choose alcohol. It's less restrictive. Spriggan chooses nature. It only stops when you run out. Because he doesn't understand religion and alcohol can kill him. <laughs> Makes sense. Makes sense. Like, what's religion? I think actually he's asked that before, hasn't he? Sorry, what's it going on? Yeah, I think he has. He asked something like that. It was really hard to explain. Oh, maybe he was asking why things were important. Because we were at the mm, water table, right. yeah. <laughs> He's like, but why is it important? It's just stuff. It's <laughs> just rocks. <laughs> and Seven's like, no, it's important because it's got religious stuff. And Sprig is just like, no. <laughs> so. <laughs> rocks. It's not Torin, therefore it's not important. Um, Torin. Um, works. <laughs> it's divided up into Torin and not Torin. <laughs> Torin waking up quite I early. I have a flow chart in the back of my character sheet. <laughs> uh, Torin quite early in the morning. Um, no, just spirit awake. And says, Hey, so uh, I've got some business to do in town. 
Um, I'm gonna see what I can help Valerie with uh, as far as preparing defenses for the. Uh, Who? She. I'm gonna help somebody we met recently. Okay. Uh, we're, we're gonna get make defenses against the Kraken at the docks. Maybe we'll repair the damage there as best we can. All right. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'll be today. So don't worry about me, okay? Okay. All right. Are you sure later. you don't want me to come with you? Uh, well, you know I. I can help. I'm sure you can, buddy. I can lift big objects. I'm very strong. <laughs> I <laughs> marbles. <laughs> uh, you know what? I think you should probably keep an eye in on, on the people, and you know, really make sure that everyone gets along. <laughs> you ask the impossible, but I'll try. <laughs> I believe in you, buddy. And he leaves. I'm in charge now. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else is asleep, and Spriggan's just like. As he's uh, leaving, uh, he he takes the drow greatsword. He takes the drow greatsword. He puts it uh, in one corner of the room. It's the thing. Yes. Okay. And uh, leaves. <laughs> More like. I'm just like hugging the hilt. Just... Now what? How do I get this from here to there? Gregory, wake up. Uh, uh, yes. I need your help. Help with what? I need oh. you to lift this for me. You are, by the way, you have one level of exhaustion yes, like, from being very hungover from yesterday. Oh, I do have that written down. Yay! Uh, one level of exhaustion is on that table. Uh, you should have there. eaten something, yeah. man. It would have made it much better. I mean, with the amount that he consumed, uh... I might have not I mean, you don't have to mind. help if you don't want to. It's just a lot easier with somebody with opposable thumbs who can carry this. You know what? I mean, I can carry this, it's just... What are you trying to carry? This party. Yes! <laughs> that is my wow. job! You have a uh, disadvantage on ability checks. Cool. It's a great sword. It's the spidery one, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we bought that one. Mm -hmm. You weren't there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, joy. Wait, wait, sorry, you're asking me to carry the, the great sword? Yes, you're going to be my... Squire. <laughs> <laughs> what, what exactly are you going to do with the great sword? I'm going to take it someplace. You mean I'm going to take it someplace? I mean, follow yes. by, or follow you? Yes. <laughs> Carrying him, probably. Yes. Mm, I'm going to take you and it someplace. Yes. <laughs> it's an adventure. But, but where? Um. Wait. Do I know what it is? Do I know what the? I don't know what it is. You know, it's a sword. <laughs> well, true. It's okay. a spider. I'm gonna pick up the sword. Can, go with can I yesterday? investigate the sword? I don't think so. With <laughs> disadvantage. Torrid and I sure, went. you can make an investigation. <laughs> uh, make an. Yeah, right. Yeah, sure. Because I have a bracelet check. now. That's that. That's cute. Oh yeah. yeah, I forgot to ask. Did the the um, Duryar ever actually take the deadly nightshade that I offered? Six. Um, I th I'm gonna go with no, and he appreciated the offer. Someday somebody will take my deadly knife. Um, but he is a little paranoid of everything, so. Who? Who do we not know? You guys don't know. Okay. Six. Six. Um, man, this sword's big. It's a big sword, yo. Make a strength check to pick it up. <laughs> nah, you 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 can pick it up and shoulder it. All right, it's not. It's not that it. big. But it's pretty big, pretty heavy. Uh, you don't around. think you'd be able to use it very well, though you could certainly try. You should give uh, it to Chakal. She could use it. Oh gosh. Don't. <laughs> nope, it's mine. I mean, it's not mine. It doesn't belong to you. <laughs> You're not here. <laughs> All right, Gregory. So let's go eat breakfast and then we'll go, because breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Uh, All right, but I still don't know where we're going. That's okay, I don't know either. <laughs> but oh, I can <laughs> find it. <laughs> I'm gonna Fairly carry this sword certain. and follow Spriggan down to breakfast. Well, oh, actually, could you carry me down to breakfast? Take, carry Spriggan and the sword stairs. down to breakfast. You have to get used to these things. Maybe Spriggan should, should stand on the sword so that I'm carrying the sword and the sword spirit is carrying Spriggan down to breakfast. That's about it. Downstairs yes. at yeah, breakfast, breakfast. Mm -hmm. Jacal is up already for All some right. reason. Is she uh, making yes. breakfast? No, she's some... eating breakfast with what's his face, and they're staring deeply in each other's eyes and holding hands across the table. Sure. Oh God, uh, roll so a. Oh my gosh, you're right. Roll a. I'm just gonna say persuasion check. Okay. Are you trying to convince Torin that this is real? Or is Spriggan? 
Deeply into his eyes, he looked deeply into yours. He kind of leaned forward <laughs> and put both your elbows right into your oatmeal. <laughs> oh. And he's just there. Um, um, you, you got a little. You got a like. There's <laughs> a little. Yeah, never mind. You later on wonder why? Why does my oatmeal taste like sweat and elbow? Why is there like a tra trail of oatmeal falling? How do you, why do you know what elbow tastes like? <laughs> That's a really good question. I mean, she calls probably done that. I can look at my elbow. See? <laughs> oh, I just need to dislocate my shoulder. And, ah, there we go. Just like, hold on. I, I bet you this. one silver, you can't lick your elbow. Is there anyone that can uh, cast a spell to regrow an arm? Cool. <laughs> 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 it's like, I don't know if that's what you're going to do. And the Gregory Award goes to Gregory. All right. Breakfast. So, um, you guys have some breakfast. Yay! Larry's <laughs> eating. So, uh, fellas, where are you going off to today? What? <laughs> <laughs> so, fellas, where are you off to today? I'm not really sure. Larry. Larry. <laughs> You're like. <laughs> Okay. Weird answer, all right. Hey, did anybody else have anything go missing recently? No. I didn't think so. Did something go missing for you, Mary? Yeah. I had a vase in my room. Never seen it. What kind of a vase? Uh, it was just a simple uh, vase. I mean, it was made like out of a stained glass, which is pretty, pretty interesting. I don't know. Uh, your face looks normal to me. So, uh, I was looking, um... I agree with her. <laughs> uh, I was, uh, looking in the mirror, and I just saw the vase move, and then it was gone. Well, you know, if you rearrange your face the way it was before, you know, it looks the same. <laughs> Do you know how to spell? What's your intelligence? Do you, you know how to hear? I'm not very good at spells. Most people <laughs> don't have any. <laughs> well, I'm sure you could learn if you put your mind to it. I have one of those. <laughs> well, mine is a terrible thing to waste. My dad said that all the time. My first dad. Your dad was dead. <laughs> Not that it's dead. dead. <laughs> My other dad. And one's dead too. too. Oh, well, you <laughs> know, I, I guess love dads. comes in all shapes and sizes. No, they never met. I'm confused. I you know tree. what? That's fine, though. I think I hear the... <laughs> Pet cattles. Yep. I'll keep an eye out for your base. Bye, Larry. Thank you. Are you downstairs, too? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So Paul goes back I to her. I downstairs. <laughs> dreamy conversation <laughs> like, staring at the eyes of what's his face. Albert. 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 You're welcome. You're like doing that weird, like, glitching thing. It's a little... <laughs> <laughs> you know when you have a companion and it follows you, it gets too far behind, and all of a sudden it goes... <laughs> 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 so, I have um, a companion, you walk back through the dungeon, you're like, oh, you're dead? What did that happen? <laughs> Oh, sorry, I forgot um, about you. <laughs> so, Why'd you step in front of me? <laughs> Sue, uh, you wake up. Hi. She calls, not around. Nikki's there. Hi. Yeah. What do you guys do? Well, I get up and go down to breakfast. Okay, you go downstairs. Yeah, I was talking to Larry. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So you're go you went go downstairs. Uh, Nikki, you see uh, bleh, Sue go downstairs. Yeah. And then she talked to Larry. When did that happen? Yeah, Nikki was sort of standing back and watching the entire thing and trying not to crack up at Chakal. Okay. Um, where did the sword go? Does Gregory I'm still have it? Gregory's it? holding it. In my lap or something. Um, Gregory. Yes? Why do you have the giant sword? Well, Where's Spriggan the sword? seems to think that we're going on an adventure somewhere. Spriggan, yes. what are you doing with a giant sword? I'm returning it. To where? To the people who need it most. And what people need it most, Spriggan? I'm not allowed to tell you. So, they made me hmm. promise not to tell. Where's Torin? Torin? We're not returning it to the spiders, um, are we? That's Torin. a really good question. Spriggan, where's Torin? Torin I said that he was... <laughs> <laughs> you can do that now. That's a good question. If he eats Torin while large and then shrinks, 
It's kind of like a pregnancy all explosion. Situation. Torin is still dead. Anyway. Torin said that he was going to be helping setting up defenses with somebody we met the other day. <laughs> At yes. the docks. No, not the docks. We're at the dock. <laughs> it sounded like ducks. Do you mean docks? Yes, it was that. Docks. Oh, yeah. Okay. Got it. <laughs> I haven't been. I don't know what they are. Um, there's ducks there. Wait, wait, wait. Mostly. Spriggan has not been. Are you saying Spriggan hasn't been to the docks? Nope. He's never been to the docks. Nope. How did that happen? Or how did I that not happen? What? I was wrecked. <laughs> Get wrecked. I don't know, but like, <laughs> how in all the course, in all the past... Igris was the only one who ever has been to the docks of my characters. Hmm. Weird. Spriggan was never around when we were doing all the dock stuff. Weird. I guess, I guess, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, now that we've had breakfast, shall we get going? All right then. Start going. Okie dokie. So you guys start. <laughs> you just gonna let us walk out? Heading? No, I'm going to follow the you man. because I know for sure we got the sword not for Spriggan to take it off somewhere. Mickey oh. is going to go with Sue, and I think we're gonna become the fancy girl team up that's following these guys, figuring out what's going on. And because they're to probably them. going to die. Yes. And we should be there to laugh at them. So Spriggan. I think one of us says that to the other one, the other person nods, <laughs> and we're just like, yeah, we walk out the door. <laughs> Where are we going? We are going to the place with the nice underground people. Cool. Does Spriggan know what Spriggan have any idea what that is? No, but he was going to wild shape into Serenicorn, who has a higher intelligence than Spriggan, so Serenicorn <laughs> will remember. All right. Serenicorn? Have we seen Serenicorn? Yes. yes. The mini is... Boop. Yeah, right Yay. there. There we go. So I wild shape into Serenicorn. Actually, before I do, I get off of Gregory. <laughs> <laughs> that was Same. Nice. And Gregory dies. <laughs> By the way, I realize, I, mean, I don't know if I told you this, um, but looking back through the Kraken stats, uh, you should have died in episode one. Yeah. Because when you when I almost got split in half. Yeah, because when you stab the Kraken, it's immune to stabbing damage. <laughs> it does some sort of. No, it's just immune, so it wouldn't have let go. But did I? It's okay. It just wouldn't it's, it's have okay. let go. It's, it's okay. okay. It's okay. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. You it's survived. Okay. We only had to lose one guy to the Kraken. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been very disappointing. If I had just anyway, Gregory, died. here's your character, and he's been ripped in half. All right, make a new <laughs> character. I still don't know how to do that. Neither do I. <laughs> anyway, um, I get off of Gregory, say, okay, I'm going to wild shape into Serenicorn, because then I'll remember, and you can write me while we're doing that. And I'm like off from Serenicorn. <laughs> do you see? Oh, hey, there's a unicorn. Um, I begin to mount a Serenicorn. <laughs> It's a little tricky with, with hooves, but you, you manage to hop up there. Cool. Does Serenicorn talk? <laughs> awesome. Wait, you should be having me doing... Never mind. I want to be doing hungover checks, like... Uh, you Serenicorn. know what? To stay, remain mounted on Serenicorn, make an animal handling check. Is it... Yeah. Yeah. Does he have disadvantage on checks? Yes. Well, it doesn't matter, because that was an animal. That was a one! So... <laughs> Serenicorn, you feel, all oh, right, he's settling on your back. You take three steps, and you feel the sword, poop. Huh, that's cold. Thud. <laughs> Look behind you. Hooves up in the air. Gregory's standing back up. I'll go help Gregory. You take four up. points of bludgeoning damage from landing on your noggin. Oops. Gregory. Why do I have a minus five from something? Oh, they got now. Probably. Probably. We'll just say yes. <laughs> All right, I think I'm ready now. You want to try again? <laughs> Go ahead, make another just animal handling check. To, to mount? To mount. <laughs> Are you sure you're capable of traveling on this vehicle? Jeez. Three minus so one minus or something. Oh, no. Plus zero. Three. Three. It takes you a while, but you get up on the on Serenicorn. Serenicorn, his arms are like around <laughs> your neck so he can stay up there. <laughs> Let's go. Um, Gregory! 
<laughs> we and, are trying desperately not to crack just up and fall over <laughs> laughing, but we're just sitting back there. It's right. pretty funny. Uh, Surround and Corrin make a, uh, I guess, survival check to remember the, the trail up. I'm going to go buy some, Gosh, I'm buy some pretzels survival. from the duck so we can have something to snack on as we like popcorn. Yeah, we're just sitting there like, uh. I hope he doesn't move super fast. That is Should a we go 14. get for this? I think we're good. <laughs> Fourteen. You know right. what? If Gregory keeps you, you off, were you know, don't we'll recall the exact we'll location, but you recall the, the tallest mountain. Start finding the trail to the tallest mountain. I am fast. Like how fast? Like sixty feet fast. We should get horses. We should get horses. <laughs> we go back and get horses. I do not wait for them. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so we know where they're going. They're going out to get out of town. That's kind of obvious. That's as much as you know. That's where I'm yeah, going. we don't know where he's going though. Temple of Tide. Oh, sending. The, the, um, if Gregory the remembers, it's enough for us to know Gregory what the gate to go yeah. with our horses, and then we should be able to see him far enough down the road. We can roll survival and track them. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> I mean, <laughs> probably not rangers, hard. but you can try. Um, what do you think is better? Should we get horses, or should we roll survival? Uh, well, no, that's a hide my tracks. Oh. That's a get horses, <laughs> then roll survival. Okay. Or we could just it run. It cause us to probably die. And probably not make it. Let's get horses. Where okay. do we go to get horses? Uh, you go to the stables. Okay. I mean, go to the stables. I could make some, Gar! some more checks to stay on and fall for a few more times if that helps. <laughs> Gar! Can we just get out to the go gate and spend like an you hour? You see like... two women um, go up to, to the stables. I know one of them. Uh, yes, one is Captain Stu, the other is Blue with a weird arm. Sup? Hello! I'll put them more into you. We are in need of some horses. We are chasing down a friend. We left this morning and did not say goodbye. We are offended and want to talk to them. Yes. Doesn't sound exactly true, but... <laughs> <laughs> I just work here. I don't exactly, you know, do the, uh, renting of the horses. Cool. More like, take care of them, you know, rub them down. Do you know we can them. talk to you to get them? Do I know? <laughs> yeah, your boss. Troy. <laughs> Boy, that could be Troy. <laughs> okay, where's Troy? He's at the front desk, I believe. I go to the front desk. Okay, you go to the front desk, and you see there is a, um... I start saddling horses. <laughs> You're over here. There's a, uh... Um... That's not how you do that. It's the other way around. <laughs> there is a, uh... A... Wait, this is Nikki. Nikki knows how to saddle. Does human! Yeah, yeah, it's a human male. Yay, um, someone I can talk to. Balding, bearded... Uh, kind of hunched over a bit more, like his back was broken at some point. No, I totally get that. Yes, can I help you with something? Yes, um, a friend and I are needing to rent you some don't horses. don't care, what do you need? We need to rent some of your horses. Awesome, you how long? Unknown! <laughs> Would you like to buy some horses? <laughs> no. Well? <laughs> you better start... Two going. days! She said two days. All right, two days. Let me take a look. Is there a charge if we keep them out over an extra night? Yeah. Would it be I send my to boys to break the kneecaps. <laughs> anyway, uh, let me take a look here through my notes. I'm just gonna say that'll be three gold. Okay. All together. Per horse. It's six gold. Yes. Here. Cool. Now I have rent money for a week. This eraser is really bad. Yeah. And if you kill my horse, I'll kill you. <laughs> just That's kidding. Not a deal. I'll just take <laughs> your liver. Anyway, so, um. Uh... <laughs> okay. I don't have one, so good luck. I am confused as to your alcohol tolerance, but okay. That's alright. You see that he has several tattoos on his body, um, wrinkled. Tattoos of ears. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Cool. Alright. Okay, so you pay them and yeah. yeah. Alright. You get some, some horses. I want you guys to both roll survival checks to, to attempt to track them. <laughs> well, do we have to roll animal handling Wait, to ride have them? No, don't spend on that! Does she have a level of, of exhaustion? Or is it just me? No. No, because okay. she didn't try to drink at the wharf. I did not do that, because I know better. What am I rolling? 21 for survival! Cool. Nine. Awesome. You're following uh, Nikki 
who... She's clearly an expert at land things. She's heading more towards the mountain range because you know Temple of Tide and the Dwarven um, Fortress or the Dwarven uh, area you guys encountered and when Torrin went underground. Yeah. Both that way. If we um, fast enough, we can catch up. That's the idea. 90s grunge from the Torrin underground. <laughs> So, you guys, are you guys going on a fast pace to catch up? Yep. Yep. Okie dokie, I want both of you to roll a percentile. Uh, I don't want to. Can I just refuse? It doesn't ask us to roll. Sure, it's I just like, take the highest no thing. <laughs> no! No, it's because we went 17, through and alerted the things that something was going through, but we were too That's fast for it. That's opposite ends of the spectrum. Oh, see, you're in a new bracket like, oh, now. Oh, oh, oh. What'd you roll? 73. Seventeen. We are in a new bracket now. Awesome. What did you roll? Seventeen. Oh. Seventeen. Wait, we're level six now. We have a new level six through ten encounters. Cool. No, not the <laughs> ten. <laughs> <laughs> Gregory's <Crazy>. evil life. <laughs> that was not encouraging. <laughs> On like so yeah. many levels, that was not encouraging. It's five. You just don't have any of your supports. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, they can't tax from far away, and I'm really good at close quarters, so we should have all of our bases covered. We just don't have any healing. As you guys oh. are, yeah, that's fine. That's are rushing, we're fine. <laughs> fine. What's happening? Quickly put the board somewhere anyway. Um, oh. he's traumatized. He's at the temple doing mm-hmm. temple stuff. Cool. He's traumatized. Who? Khaled? What? He is also traumatized Sad. by the sadness. Oh, what, yeah. what your other boyfriend's doing? Anybody who is yeah. dead, was dead, and is now not dead, is traumatized. It's obviously traumatized. Your player's boyfriend and character's boyfriend or something. That sounds yes. Mm-hmm. They're all gone. <laughs> they left do, me. Do, do, all of your boyfriends are gone. I know, all my boyfriends are gone. It sucks. Sad day. So should there I be think a... I feel like Never mind, oh, this is gonna get weird. <laughs> <laughs> but you only have one. <laughs> More devastating for me. Torn's on my character. Mm-hmm. I think if I killed Spriggan, I'd be on his character sheet. On Spriggan's character sheet? Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? That's part of it. Like, no, as he's dying. Oh, yes, I will remember you once I die. I'll be sure to remember you, sir, in my next second. You're blocking me like. <laughs> This is my new book for the ones I hate. Corn <laughs> <laughs> will never love you now. <laughs> as, as you start getting um, right. your um, riding your horses up, you start getting kind of skittish. Going to the side, and you hear a... Do I recognize this sound? Oh gosh. You recall when you were in the sewers, you heard something. No! <laughs> you see blue and white spiders. Kind oh! of Gosh. And well, two of them warp forward <laughs> towards you guys. Oh, like spiders, right? I'm so excited. <laughs> You're not here! I know! That's why I'm excited. <laughs> Do you want Gregory to like guess and reach again. behind you and grab a couple of uh, discover your predicaments? Um grab them and grab uh, me a couple spiders if you can find any. Oh, cool. There's uh there's I have two. Mini. Nikki might be on the boat. Oh, no. uh, she's up here. Oh, okay, cool. You guys are both there. Hey, what do you want? Spiders, if you have them. You need a spider? You need a spider. And, I'm not here. and, uh, <laughs> well, sure, you can get the other spider. Wait, I think there is two spiders. Anyway. You guys are both on your horses. I don't want to know who caused this to happen. <laughs> um... Well, the other thing was like the rhinos, and I'm like, yes, rhinos. Do I it. have to, I have to incorporate rhinos into the, 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 the ecosystem here, and like spiders are already here. So. Already established. Ah. Yeah. I ready my bow. Okay. Hold on. I shoot, and it teleports out of the way. Do I want to get off first, or do I want to pull out my sword? Do you want to roll initiative? Yes. Cool. Roll because initiative. Because I can roll very high sometimes. Except when I do not do that. Nat 20! Awesome. <laughs> so this whole time. 
Just uh, can you ask for him, please? Wait, so Nat runs in 20 zone, I can have pack initiative, right? No. Yeah. And then do I need to add my initiative anyway? Yes, yeah, so you're 23. What's yours? 14. 14? Mmm. You can only roll in single groups. So cool. That can't be Spider. It only has 16. Must be So, going first is Nikki. You are currently on your horse? Yes. Alright. What are you gonna do? I knock the wind, Bullseye. I have fire, arrows. Are you gonna tell me how many are? That's the closest it is. Never mind, never mind. That is a 15. Hits. You have two attacks. Will you turn on attack as well? How many spiders are there? Just two? Just two. I feel like 14. Uh, also hits. Ooh. What do you feel like? Uh, I don't know. 10? Okay. The Did you add your archery damage? The height things you encounter go up. Oh. No, I did not. Uh, okay. Level up. That's a hit. Makes no sense. Oh, that's a hit. Okay. So there's like be like Sorry. Regions, I like a certain level. Well, that's why I already added it. Yeah. So, unless it's Skyrim, then just they get way out of hand. So that was like what, I'm what? fucking bandits, and all of a sudden, oh no, there's a man, it's oh no, okay. a dragon, oh my gosh. Stop it. Uh, I'm just trying it's to looking get pretty rough. Cool. That's okay, go on, anything else? You can burn an action surge and get two more. So why would you make the right But it's your skin. Okay, cool, that's your turn. Next up, it's the spider's turn. Um, the spider is going to run up to you. And it's going to make a bite attack at your horse. Yeah. Dang! That's not good. We Which just rented these. It's a natural 20. <laughs> no. On the other Hang hand, on, I need yeah, to look up rental. horses. It's a rental. You guys will be without your livers. <laughs> um, horse, horse. Yeah, horse. Troy, it's a level 20 wizard. Buy that one. Return it and save with the choice. I take your life. There's only one stable, though. Yeah, All right, come on, horses. Do you like with that single stable? I would kind of like to. If all else fails, we sacrifice your horse. And then we can both ride mine. And leave. Yeah, okay. So you got skittish and ran away. You feel like it's stable and you know. You fell off. We're not really sure how, but you did, and the horse took off. It could be dead, but it's probably not. And then it wouldn't be lying, because it could have taken off to the afterlife. Okay, now the horse needs to take... A... Oh, doesn't matter. Uh, your horse is dead. <laughs> the horse... <laughs> uh, thud's on the ground. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. I wanna get We're not gonna die. Just our horses. Uh, what do I have to say? Dex save. There you go. Uh, oh, cool. Uh, 15. 15? Okay. You barely, like, catch yourself on all fours and stand up. You're not prone. Yeah, um, it's fine. That hurts a little bit, though, from that, from that kind of sudden being pitched forward off the horse. Uh, you look over, the horse is very dead. It's sort of twitching as the poison takes effect. And it's fire. <laughs> To you and <laughs> vanishes. This is not a happy day. Uh, it's it now the other spider's day. turn. They vanish! Ah, don't touch me! And it's going to make an attack on your horse, and that hits. No! Dang it, we your just. horse dies. I just rented these! We just bought them. For livers. Okay, take seven points. So your horse has 13 hit points. Okay. Right. Take seven points of piercing damage. I'll go ahead and roll the con save for your horse. That's 16. 16? Okay, cool, that saves. Um. Oh! I'm gonna bet. Cool. Oh, and it takes another six points of damage. Yeah, so it's dead. It. Your horse. <laughs> you I need you to make a deck save. You are not prone. Spider bites you. You're dead! Um, 
you <clears throat> face plant into the dirt. The spider's right over your body. <clears throat> disappears. It's your. Uh, it's now Sue's turn. Do you want to do something about this? I like to use half my movement to stand up. And I would like to look around for the spiders. Sure. Can you seem to the ethereal plane? Not on this character. No, okay, you can't see it. <laughs> well, I, I would like to pull out both my swords. Can I hold an action? Yes. For this? I would like to hold it. Okay, you can hold uh, one attack until when it gets close. Yes. Because unlike fighters, you don't get attack. You just That's get the one. Anyway, so you are there. <laughs> you're holding your test. Nikki, you're up. Ah, uh, so I can't see them anyway? Yes. So can I just hold my attacks until they show up? Sure. Do okay. uh, you want to hold your bow attacks? Yeah. Okay. Singular. You don't get extra attack on On reaction? Oh, right, because it's a reaction thing. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay. You are holding your bow at the ready. It is now. We're like back to back ones. It's turned. He's like epic. <laughs> and freaked out. I Spider am very uncomfortable with this. One appears here, right in front of you. You can go ahead and make your uh, bow attack at disadvantage <laughs> because it's melee. ranged at melee. Uh, Alright, so that's 18. Alright, you hit. You only have that one attack. What's the damage? Cool. It is looking very rough. Um, it's now the uh, you get your reaction attack. Oh wait, that one. Isn't good. Yeah. Um, this one just over here. Yeah. I can. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just having them bamf in together so we can just keep moving. What's that? I'm confused. Can you cast something into yourself. Thirteen. No. Thirteen. You, you barely just get stabbed <laughs> there. So you're trying to leave drunk messages? Well, I was just thinking about... You do have sneak like, attack. I don't know, it's just a... I dear sober Gre yes. Gregory. Yay. Because his allies too far you get this? Him. Please get watermelon. I was wondering... Well, because, like, if you store it in the Glyph of Warden, and you cause it to... When it is triggered, it would send something to you. I guess it would be pointless, but... Oh, it could be enemies that cross this line. Or, or, 19. I mean... This, 19 this damage? Yeah. Already have. Oh, right. Nice. I got sneak attack on it. <laughs> I rolled really low except for one time. Okay, it's also looking pretty rough, but it is now, well, it's still their turn. Online. So, one's gonna make an attack on you, one's gonna make an attack on you. Uh, that is a 14 to hit. Uh, my armor class is 14. It hits. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. You take you nine points of piercing damage. You teleport to their frame. Oh, they're okay. not uh, I rolled a... Oh, well. Cool. So you save, you take half damage from this next bit. But before that, you take seven points of piercing damage. Cool. Alright. Five. Nine. Twelve. You take six points of poison damage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. I see. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, I see. Looking back at your horses, you realize that they are actually not dead. They're what? paralyzed. Oh. I, if poison reduces you to zero, you're stable, but you're uh, paralyzed. Great. Well, at least you won't die. We'll just, well, I guess after that, the spiders. This means, a, means your speed is half, mm -hmm. and there's a chance that you can't hit. That's Pokemon paralysis. Anyway, uh, paralysis. cool. <laughs> and then the one attacking you. That makes sense. Uh, it's, it's little thick. No. So it misses. Not like it's got its mandibles kind of <laughs> clawing as you're holding it back. No. It is now. My turn. Yes, your turn. Like, so you you're nothing fast and happy because the spiders. Yes, attack you have sneak attack because swashbucklers never don't have sneak attack. Oh, oof. Yeah, that's a fourteen hit. It does. Yeah. Hit last time. Oh, 
Oh, it's missing damage. You successfully stabberize that one particular thing. It's now back around to Nikki's turn. Great. This dude's right in your right in your face. So I should probably <laughs> use my katana. Okay, so you have to pull your katana. Yeah, I do. All right. By the way, I have one of these. <laughs> wow. Uh, that's a 15. Hits? You have a second attack. Well, oh, you can see how much damage you can do for it. You might want to use your second attack to off. Attack two. Yes! <laughs> Nine? No! Yes. Okay, it's dead. Do yeah, you want to decapitate Sue? <laughs> <laughs> no! I would like to run over and check on the horses and see if I can do anything about that. Make First a medicine check. Hit me. You're ready and to decapitate second, the horse. I can see her. Decapitate Sue. Might not kill the horse. But you see it coming, it starts killing squirrels. Yes! <laughs> 19! I see right. everything. Um, you begin, um, making like a tourniquet for not the horse. Not that amazing! Uh, you're... It's not bad, it's pretty simple. Ow. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you're it's able to, uh, stop the flow of blood from this Yum, horse. This 20. Um, it's stable, but you get the idea that it'll be poisoned for about an hour, and <laughs> currently, it's also unconscious. This is an unconscious horse. Can I make a medicine check on my horse? You make a medicine check on your horse. Natural 20. Alright. Similarly, you're able to make a target for your horse. Stupid horse. Um, you're able to actually revive your horse. Yeah! uh, It's still poisoned (laughs) for an hour, but um, it has one hit point. Congratulations. Can I give this in hay? If I slap it, kill it. (laughs) Just like a darn horse. We both get on it and it trips over a stone, it'll die. Um, I would like to take a moment to look around in the direction we've been heading. Okay. Um, approximately where are we? I don't have my map. Um, you are a... We are directly in the middle of nowhere. Because I think we were catching up, we just got stuck. You're about five miles out from town. Okay. Uh, and you're heading... Eastward. So, to the temple, to the dwarves, to the forest where... To the ruined orc village. Chikal, the trailer. ruined orc village to the um, place where Chikal Basically, and... Basically, we're just heading to the other side of the island. Just the other side of the island Anywhere, so far. the other side of the island. Eh. Unless you break a hard right and you start going to Kalmyx Priory again. Is my horse standing? Thanks, friggin' doesn't know about it. What? Is my no. horse standing? Your horse is standing. Can I get on it? You can you can try. We can animal handling. Try. <laughs> no, don't get on it. Uh, animal handling. That was a thirteen. You get on the horse. It slow, but it can move. Would it be faster to just rush? Probably. I'm gonna get off. I'm gonna tell Nikki we're going to run and catch up with them. Okay. I just know it. I can feel it here. <laughs> what about the rental? We'll come back for it. Probably. Really? And they never saw the horses again. <laughs> yes. I'm not gonna tie it up here. They'll probably just go back home. Probably. There's a lot of probabilities and maybes horses going on. Horses are kind of smart in that they go back home. It's dumber than the pistol shrimp you bought. <laughs> the pistol shrimp was pretty funny though. <laughs> pistol shrimp almost killed everybody. <laughs> Spring that immediately dumb. went. Ah! <laughs> I was trying to make friends with you guys, but just... So we ran off. Yes. We ran off into the, sp- uh, the sunset. So the two of you, it's not even breakneck pace, running like crazy. If I dash every six seconds, I have the same speed as him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's my walking speed. That's his walking speed, not his dash speed. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's kind of scary. <laughs> Meanwhile, Gregory and, uh... Spriggan. And Spriggan. I want you guys to also roll percentiles. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you might be able to catch up with the better than we thought. Do I have disadvantage on the percentiles? That only took us, what, <laughs> two, 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 three turns? So that's like... Mm-hmm. Uh, five. Not 18 even seconds. half a minute. Yeah. Exactly five. All right. Like, oh no, problems. We got stuck for like a minute. Okay. We're just like, oh man, what come problems? on. Which uh, is 72. Dumb 72. spiders. Stupid biting and stupid lentils. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Might have time to revive these horses after all and see if Yeah. 
Oh, we look across them, we're like, that seems like a good turn. We don't want to go back to the horses. They're like, you know what, never mind. Let me see if I can make a medicine check on your horse. Wow. Do you get any plus Or I should say, if you add our ones Me? and our tens to get we give you the same thing. Two. Oh, nice. But I don't have any special thingies in it. Yeah. I have expertise in other things. Hmm. Okay. Like yeah. investigation. Um, I've got... What senses do does... Uh, I don't think it's right if it has anything special. Let's look. Uh, dark vision. Okay. Cool. That's, that's it. Um, you guys continue going on pretty fast pace. No, no, nothing really going on. It's beginning to approach evening as you make your way up to the mountain. You two. Yeah. We're not rolling percentile again. Running, 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 Roll percentile. running like, like mad. Uh, you start getting to the base of the mountain as it starts to become nightfall. Where are they? Where are they? No, they're they're nearing the top of the mountain. Oh, okay. We can't track them in the dark, can we? Have I fallen off again yet? <laughs> Hang on. You've fallen off and on repeatedly. I can't <laughs> see in the dark, just so you know. I can. Sort of. Sort of. With one eye. My, my. I can see in the dark, but I have no depth perception. Only for 15 feet. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't see if it gets dark. Like at all. Okay. To both of you, roll survival checks. Uh, for making your. 17. 17. It gets cold. Neither of us can do survival. Gregor, the only way is if you climb inside of the house. <laughs> Gregor, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to eat you. Nine. Nine? Uh-huh. Okay. Um, you begin. Um, I'm upset about the horse. <laughs> begin pulling together. Um, branches and making a lean to. Uh, you take them, you make them to a, a bit better of like a, like almost almost like a wigwam. Camera die. We're gonna end up with so many random wigwams all over this island that people are gonna be like, ah, uh, yes, and this is where the heroes stayed. <laughs> like, As you can see from the shoddy craftsmanship, they weren't very good at There's this There's some yet. dumb monks that just go around the island and they meditate there and they're like, ah, oh, yes. No, it's gonna be I can just sense gonna... the conflict about <laughs> A horse! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like George Washington slept here. Like, yeah. Adventures camped here. Yeah. She doesn't like camping. She knows how. She doesn't like it. Would you like it better if you had a hammock? No. Then it would be like you were on a ship. Sort of, but ships are on water. <laughs> So I need a hammock over a river, basically. <laughs> <laughs> a hammock like on a terrible boat idea. in the river. <laughs> okay, so you just find a lake somewhere. <laughs> you guide. I hope it doesn't um, like on the island. That would be so creepy though. You just there's look at you lake. look at a lake and there's like this random tiny little boat with a hammock and a person <laughs> sleeping. Like, this else. is the only so. way that I can sleep, guys. <laughs> Uh, that would be a hilarious character. Lady, I can't sleep unless I'm in a hammock over As the two of you, um, you set up a watch, one in up, one, one asleep. As the, uh, like, yes, I'll take as the night passes by, um... I have horrible dreams! No! Ben's looking in the book! No! We're gonna get killed by mosquitoes. I just know it. I actually ran a Can swarm. We? No! I ran a swarm last night. No! I was a swarm. It was a swarm of insects, too. Uh, swarms are fun. No! We fought a swarm of spiders before. That's where it all started! Ah! That's where it all began. To be fair, it probably wouldn't have been as bad if Travis had tried to burn us alive first. Well, that guy was for you. That was really dumb. He did go down three times in that fight. We got <laughs> I, I two natural 20s out. to get back up. <sighs> That's awful. Okay. Yeah, um, just because it's immune to magical stuff doesn't mean it's not immune to magical So. Adventure. Yeah, that was great. So you guys um see <laughs> some wildlife passing by, some... Worms. They're packs of wolves. Oh, springing walking back and forth is a different <laughs> <laughs> um, Some packs of wolves so come in. Um, oh, but are easily chased audience. away as you <gasps> guess you can watch as Potentially. Gave them all of Potentially. Seeing what happens. Sup. Spend the night there. Guys! 
you make it. I'll, how long does your beast take last? Watch it last? I believe it lasts. Excellent question. Turns out. It turns out. Away from the duck yeah, I actually do not know how long. Redcon everything. You guys caught up to them. Hey! I don't know. We took part in the spiders, but we both died. They were the spiders. They were the horses. <laughs> I think you'd be stay in my. Shape. A number of hours equal to half my druid level rounded down, so that would be three hours. Three hours. Okay. They didn't make it quite as far um, up the mountain as they thought. I have two wild shapes, so I technically have six hours. So, we so you you would, you would have used both of your wild shapes, and you are no longer a wild shape by the time both of you make it up there. So we caught up to them. I'm back. No. <laughs> we tried very hard. And I made sure you did. Spriggan's um. just kind of annoying. <laughs> So, you guys are currently uh, near near the top of the mountain. You see the uh, the area, the, the giant chimney. You have the cool. sword. Spriggan is tiny again. I hold my arm over it. Should we just... No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Stop it. Hello, my name is Spriggan. I have your sword. Oh. No reply. Is this what we're doing with the sword? Bringing it back... Uh, I guess I should have said this earlier, probably. At some point as we're climbing the mountain. Are we bringing the sword back to the... Uh, I can't we... respond to you while we're climbing the mountain at all. <laughs> Once we get to the top. Oh, so we're giving the sword to the dwarf people. That sounds good. Dwarves. <laughs> you know nothing. <laughs> oh, I will cast dark vision on myself and Gregory. Okay. To battle the dwarves with the sword. You now both have dark vision. Oh, cool. Okay. Ah. So that is a spell. Yeah. Um, you have dark vision. Can you see the stars clearer or worse? Great question. Stop asking physics questions. I don't know. It's like looking at them through infrared. <laughs> or not infrared but yeah, through uh, night vision goggles. They're just brighter points of light that hurt to look at. Is that what happens? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's what I'm going with. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. I deserve candy. Kill the spider. I do. So, uh. Um, well, I don't have any more wild shapes, so I can't climb down. Oh, I got up. Nice. <laughs> and I was blindfolded when we came back up. <laughs> Is everybody asleep? <laughs> what? Not talking to you. You're not here. Okay, good. Um, I didn't. Oh, wait. wait. I mean, climb uh, over the I should have gone that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no, we're here. I really hate 3 a.m. Oh, I, I, I know. That's what I was saying. Um. I have your sword. You see, uh, to your right, the uh, apparently smooth stone um, ground, smooth for uh, for a mountain top. Nice granite goes down, pulls to the side, yeah. and like a platform raises up about four inches off the ground, a little high. That's it. <laughs> I think we're supposed to put the sword on that. All right. I think. Put the sword on it. Okay. Is that all you do? What time is it? I mean, I guess I'll get on it too. Real time or? Wait, no, how big is the in, platform? In. It's like eight o'clock, we'll say. Okay. Um, so the sun rose like at five. So does that mean that we've had enough time to climb the mountain and possibly be spying on this? It's nine o'clock at night. Oh, never mind. Nothing's happened yet. Um. <laughs> What? How big is the platform? Um, it's roughly like three foot by three foot. So I can get on it. Mm -hmm. It's a little snug for Gregory. It's like, I'll go talk to them since they don't know who you are and also I wasn't supposed to tell anybody else. Are you sure about that? Yes, I wrote it down. Alright. <laughs> 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 Wait, what down that you weren't supposed to tell him? Yes. <laughs> I was not okay. to tell Torn though, I crossed it out because it they said I could tell Torn. Huh. Okay. So I'll go down and deliver the sword. Okay. I'll be back. Good luck. You step on the elevator with the sword placed there. As it starts going down, the sword's kinda like up the wall a bit and now is being Sliding down the wall a bit as it's like a six foot sword. <laughs> you wait. When it feels transient, the sword falls over, slices you in half, and you arrive dead. Um, uh, it takes about a minute. You get down, you kind of wait up there. Just waiting. If it takes too long, I'll just use Hendy. The door Are you okay? opens up in front of you, and you see. Um, about five um, 
dwarves, right shields at the ready, down on the ground, crossbows at the ready as well. Hello, I brought the sword back. <laughs> They're so overprepared. <laughs> they part, like, oh, that was like and you see easy. the Duergar from before. You know, we had to walks do a down there and pick it up from her in this whole time. Picks up the sword, <laughs> and and shop. Yeah. puts it down. To go to Fantasy Boss, go. <laughs> yep, that's it. Takes a step back, and you see the uh, the Drow woman walk up. It's a lady. The illusion disperses. They're all spiders. They take the sword. <laughs> <laughs> and she reaches no. out for the sword. Okay. Spriggan. Yes. Would you, uh, be a deer? Stand a little behind our people. Okay. Are you able to cast spells? Yes. Can you cast anything to freeze a person in place or bind them where they are? Is he gonna if take you part gave me sort of like execution here, <laughs> eight hours, I probably could. Maybe I don't know. Let me look at my Spriggan player's handbook. <laughs> like, hold on a second. Um. Yes, if you gave me eight hours, I could. Okay, do you have anything else that can bind and tangle? Right now... I gotta go. No, yeah, no. No, not right now. I'd have to wait and prepare a different set of spells. Do you have anything that can kill? No, I'd have to wait and have a different set of spells. I use spell... Wait, if we took only... An hour, an hour or two, then I could kill things. Sure. We'll go with that. So you look at you like, all right. If I took a short rest, I could kill things. Gregory, you wait about an hour. Stop pushing to ten o'clock at night. No sign of I'm gonna, screen. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna use sending. Okay. Hello. Is everything all right down there? Yes, I'm going quite to. A while. Yes, I'm going to be killing things. <laughs> <laughs> You don't know what things. Uh, it could be all the dwarves down uh, there. I don't think I have any way to get down, so I'm just kind of stuck. <laughs> Settle in for a long night. Like... Okay, so you're just gonna keep on waiting. Yeah, so I take, nice I take my short rest. rest. Um, you, cast uh, you can't like keep conversation. Never mind. Yeah, I don't think I can. During a short rest, because I'm not fancy. Oh, Excuse me. Can I investigate where the thingy popped up? Sure. Uh, make an investigation check. I have disadvantage because he's still hungover. That's natural one. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a. You look at it so and you look over at the edge. You start. Of you get a little, a little dizzy, and you kind of push yourself back away from the edge. You're like, oh. okay. okay. So hour goes by. You have your short rest. Yay! All right. So when they do the whatever it is they're going to be doing. So let me know when you're going to do whatever it is we're going to be doing, because then I'll cast Bark Skin on myself. Actually, you know what? I'll just do that now, because it's concentration up to an hour. Okay. I cast Bark Skin on myself. Alright. <laughs> Alright, Spriggan. I'm going to take the sword. Okay. And I'm going to put it in a very secure place. Okay. If I turn violent and I hold the sword... I'm going to need you and these other people around you to put me down. Do you understand? Yes. All right. Do you want me to eat you? <laughs> <laughs> if you think that would be the most efficient way. But it's not going to be efficient, but I want to. <laughs> <laughs> I want to? What does that mean? <laughs> I always wanted to eat a dwarf. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> what? Bucket list. My bucket list is to eat everybody who's bigger than me, which is everybody. It's gonna be a very long, long. As she's uh, staying there, she uh, <coughs> takes a shield off her back, 
puts it far away from her. And we can just use her if I just take a day. Uh, and she starts uh, taking her. off uh, her studded leather armor and putting it aside. <laughs> she has clothing. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, although, from her, what, what once was covering absolutely everything head to toe, um, she's still wearing like a veil. Um, but you now see that she has like a dark sort of it's as if like a dark white I only see in shades of gray right now okay in that case she's you wouldn't quite call her like a gray to a black but there's definitely like the light absorbs into the darkness of her skin some more and she says alright let's try this Wait, is this the elf or something? this is the elf and she grabs the sword. It forms into a giant spider. That'd be hilarious. That would really not be funny. I'll turn into a giant spider and eat her. She picks it up. I'm shaking a bit. All right. Is this breaking in half? Follow me. And she starts walking at a somewhat. It's somewhat slower than a normal pace, but it's a very rushed feeling as she's walking very carefully. You know, if you put me on your shoulder and you turn violent, I could just wild shape while I'm on top of you and crush you. <laughs> if you think that would help, go ahead and do so. But, I mean, you're gonna have to... One of the dwarves puts you... <laughs> Thank you! ...on her ponytail. Um, can't quite reach all the way up there. <laughs> um, as, as you're... <laughs> <laughs> on her shoulder... Um, you got a <laughs> being much closer to her face before... Uh, you can tell she's she's sweating now. She is nervous. Gross. Um, is there she... a particular check that you're making? Uh, so yes, there is. Drop of sweat is excellent. I can help it's you make it better. better. If you can give me the wisdom to like resist Lolf's command, that would be much appreciated. Okay, I don't. I wish you would just say what's going on. You know, should we talk about your problem? I don't need inside. dark skin if I don't Avoiding need it, so I will cast Enhance Ability as the third level spell slot, so I'll also target myself with it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Since I'm the only other one I can touch, that will give us both Owl's Wisdom, and we have advantage on Wisdom checks. Wow. That is very nice. She's holding the uh, sword. Right. I don't know what an owl is, but apparently it's wise. <laughs> and her eyes start growing wide again. She has advantage on these, and that's a natural 20! Yay! See, you don't even need my help. Not Jeez. like Torrin. He can't, he's just lost without me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Torrin is a very brave man. He is. Alright. <laughs> she continues going forward. Is everybody <laughs> not scared? <laughs> but the five dwarves are still following you. Yes. <laughs> uh, two of them break off. They open up like a large vault door. Crack it open. She starts walking inside. And now she's going to attempt to put the sword away. She has disadvantage on attempting to let go of this. Being a drow and being bonded in such a way. But she has advantage thanks to you, so it's a straight roll. I'm helping. And it's a natural 20. Woo I'm rolling good tonight. I should try to kill you guys. Um, <laughs> no. No. Okay. She so. puts the sword down. No more spikes. Closes it. Backs away. See, All right. We don't need to kill things. That's Thank very you. Sad. For your help. You're welcome. If uh, endless slaughter is your... Uh, preferred lifestyle, we could always use some help down here if you want to stay here forever. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but Torin. Alright. And Marcel, I have people who are counting on me. Like Gregory, he doesn't know where anything is. He can't even ride a horse. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't even know what, a, no wait, I met horses before. Yes. They sound like stoners. <laughs> Well, if you would uh, <laughs> Sorry, I forgot about that. like to spend... And Dugs! I haven't seen Dugs in forever. If you'd like to spend a little bit of time down here, I'd, I'd love to hear about what you go through. 
Oh, I go to a lot. I don't remember most of it. Mm. That bad? <laughs> no, I just don't remember most of it. <laughs> so who's this Marcel? Oh, well, Marcel oh, is a dead boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's now our ten minutes from 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 when he first went down. Oh, did you know this boy? Technically. You're a very confusing creature. I've noticed. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I wasn't so complex before. I think my past lives were a lot more... What's the word I'm looking for? Straightforward? Yes, that. So you have multiple lives. Yes, I don't remember them very well. Sometimes I dream about them, though. And this Marcel was from a dream? Yes. I made a promise. Promises are important. Yes, I wrote it down. What was your promise to him? I was going to help him. <laughs> because he's trapped in a bottle. She kind of looks leave. around the cave that you guys are in. I can understand why you believe... You want me to get you out of here? Full persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was terrible. That's a nine. That was terrible. That was the floor. <laughs> I win! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. She looks around. Well, promises are very important. And we promised you an engineer, and a fighter. If... If we fulfill that promise now, I could go up with you. Okay. She looks like she's about to cry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll... <Very> fair. <laughs> I'll inform the others. I'll... Why is there sweat coming from your eyes? <laughs> oh, I, I understand what tears are. <laughs> she, um... What do you think I do every time Torn? <laughs> she picks you up and puts you on her shoulder. Walks out. Um, and she walks over to the Duergar. Um, excuse me. Sir? We promised them an engineer and one fighter. Yes. And we're going to keep our promise. Well, I was thinking... Perhaps I could go and fight with them for a while. You sure? Can use your help down here. I know, but well, you understand when we get into the thick of the fight, I look like the enemy, and perhaps not having me around might help. She comes back here all day. Feels so good for him. Hey, <laughs> <Spoilers. Hey>, <laughs> <laughs> He looks him. Then that would leave me, the only Duergar, on their side. So you'd be leaving me with all that crap. <laughs> yes. Yes, I would. I thought you all were the same. <laughs> Just because some of the women also have beards doesn't mean we're all the same. Well, you all have the big shield thingy like Torn does, so I can't really tell. Well, there's a reason for that. You all want to be like Torn, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> would Torn like a shield? I'm sure he would. <laughs> Lend him your shield, then. <laughs> the, um, the drow. Looks at you. Alright. I'll fetch my armor, then. Okay, could you carry the shield, because I'm not big enough. I'll do that. Thank you. Also, um, could you carry me? <laughs> <laughs> Gregory, as all this is going by... you like my new animal companion? Um, it's now about an hour and a half, and you hear... And you look over, and you see, not Spriggan at first, uh, you oh gosh, see that's such a pale white oh, hair, old person. <laughs> braided back, uh, glittering night dark eyes, a veiled face, because uh, dark vision lasts for... Eight hours. Yeah, so you, you can still see her. Um... Studded dark leather armor and a um, 
a curved short sword at her side, shield strapped to her back. Is that it? She looks up at the sky. It's nice. Hello, time. and who are you? Wait, do I see Spriggan now? He's Hello. Up. All on her shoulder. Okay. <laughs> Hi. She looks around at the forest nor- below her. It doesn't normally look like this. It's usually much brighter. So usually we sleep it. right now. Oh my gosh, we've got another person who hit their head really hard. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. We should go back so to this the is Gregory. Hello. What's I your remember name? his name now. Hello. My name's Lilith. Lilith. Good to meet you. I should write that nice down. Nice to meet you too. So that was one L or two? Uh, well, there's an L at the beginning, and then there's an L in the middle. I was talking about, is there two in the middle? And there's one in the middle, <laughs> but there's two L's. Lilith. Nice. Underground lady. <laughs> <laughs> She's sort of like... Gets to on one knee and puts a hand on the ground like she's unsteady. Do you need me to test another enhanced ability on you? Or, if you prefer, I could turn into something and carry you around. Actually, we should sleep. Mm-hmm. I think. I get on the ground and start setting up my built tent. That would be <laughs> I mean, guys, oh, a <laughs> good idea. She's looking around. There's no way she's gonna go to sleep. Unsteady. <laughs> Gregory, you should make her some sunglasses. Sunglasses? Yes. What are those? More like moon glasses. <laughs> I'm thinking big ol' Hawaiian sunglasses. <laughs> to complete. Um, well, Gregory. I can keep watch for a while and um, let you guys sleep for a while and then someone else can take the next watch. Oh, are you sure about that? You look at. Uh, I think we should let Gregory sleep it off, as they say. <laughs> I'll take the next watch. Oh, yes. Maybe the wolves are around. I'd like to talk to them again. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I can find some spiders. Or <laughs> no. I'm not even there. You just hear... No. <laughs> Don't you want... Spriggan teleporting around the battlefield. No, 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 no. <laughs> would that, no. that would be awesome. <laughs> See? <laughs> what are you doing? Cure wounds. Would the teleportation <laughs> be like, are you talking about if you roll him? So, <laughs> mm-hmm. Would their teleportation encompass something that close to them? I don't know. I have to try it for science. Okay. Um, Let's get me some. Don't want to cross the camera. So. Hey. Hey. Yeah, one? Okay. Bam. Yay. And that's the last my birthday candy. So, um. She takes the first watch. Uh, wait. Yes, yeah, she takes the first watch. Are you watching? I'm just going to take the first watch. Oh, so I'm going to take the second watch. Oh. She takes the first watch. And Gregory is going to take no watches. <laughs> While goes by, she um, wakes you up. Like, okay, uh, so do you want to take the next watch? Mm. Yes. Alright. And she like, lays down to, to sleep. Um... You take a watch and you're on a roll of percentile, and then as soon as I have a delicious Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Hashtag <laughs> <laughs> I I not spawn. But it's good. Be. <laughs> 17. Be gone, foul creature. 17. That's what the percentile roll. Okay. It's an uneventful watch. As the morning approaches, um, you two, because you super want to get there, wake up before the dawn. Make your way up the mountain. You see some hippogriffs flying around? You keep going. You're and welcome. Who wrote that? Hippogriffs? Mm-hmm. Seriously? And you get up to the mountain, uh, where the, the <laughs> event area is. 
Uh, I decided to just hit that on the way over. Um, yes. By the time you start, you actually make your way up to the mountain. It's it now works. early morning. Uh, Gregory, you no longer have your point of exhaustion. Bummer. That was so um, much fun. And Lilith is looking up at the sky. I almost careened into the pit. That was not fun. Squinting and blinking heavily. She's not doing too well. This That's right. I think it's warm though. Out. Yeah. She's all oh, praise, all oh, hail sun. She's like looking at. It is very warm here too. Yeah. This is this is different. When was the last time you were? Have you been in that cave your whole life? I haven't been in that cave my whole life. Have you been outside before? <laughs> No. I've seen wide expanses of open space before, but your ceiling seems to keep going. Well, this will be quite a fun experience for you. You know, I have I haven't come been to this sky. Uh, wait, plane of existence? Yeah. I haven't been to this plane of existence before, so lots of it was new for me, but I have I, I just don't remember. Yeah, they have they have skies there. Um, it has fairy lights. At around this point, Nikki and um, Sue. Bandits killed them, Lilith! <laughs> <laughs> Did you say that? <laughs> yes, yeah, so then when she like does anything, I'm like, oh. She I starts just, drawing her hand across Bill. I'm just kidding. Those are. Person and other person. Hi! What up? I think he means Nikki and Sue. Hello. Sure. Who are you? This is Lilith. Pleasure to meet you, Lilith. Who are you? Where you come from? What you came doing? from the sword. Uh, um, I named it then. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's his story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> I came from the sword. Mm-hmm. It was a great deal. It was a great sword. Can I roll perception or something? Inside. Inside to figure out what actually happened. It's to roll deception. Aren't we, like, standing on top of the mountain? Yeah. Is it really obvious where she came from? Should be. It should be fairly obvious. Sorry for rolling what? She looks like she's never Inside. seen this on before. Yeah. Quite well, literally. That would also be true if she were stored in a sword for a long time. So. 14. 18. Last person that came out of here was a healthy dwarf. This looks to be some sort of like sickly elf. But <laughs> on closer look, this is a drow, and you've seen drow before. Mm. They're not racist. It's just drows are kind of shady. <laughs> um, Don't be rude. She's our guest. I wasn't. She, um, excuse me, real quick. She hmm. kind of holds up her veil as like a, as, as like a screen. Over to you. How much do they know? We know everything. I wasn't talking to you. I know. You, you know, know about you what? Know, you know. Hmm. About what happens down there? About Val coming up. Oh, they know that. Uh, the person. I didn't so, write her down. <laughs> remember when Valerie came up and joined you? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. We took her to the docks. That was fun. Oh, I don't know what that is. Oh my you. gosh, another one! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like... Yeah, it's still there. How are there... Mm. Um, I don't believe in underground seas. Even though that would be really cool. You've seen an underground lake before, yes? Yes, I've seen a few of those. Okay, have you ever seen boats on the lake before? Yes. Okay, wherever the boats are tied to... Those are called docks. They have them on the ocean. The island. It's like a big lake. It's like it a really big lake. If you so, come so, with us, so I've heard of a few of those. Picture this. So yes. there's an underground lake, right? Yes. But now, so forget about the ceiling, right? There's okay. a sky. And then replace the land with water and the water with land, and that's what we're on. <laughs> called an island. <laughs> I do know what an island is. Uh, I actually used to command a 
small boat and a team of warriors on it. And oh we gosh. used to. You found your new best friend, huh? I did! Oh my gosh! Row up to, uh. In my. That's it for Gatorin. Past life. <laughs> Abandon this romance option. <laughs> <laughs> In my past life, I would lead a team of warriors. Wait. Silent. In your past life? Uh, not a literal past life, but... In your past. In my past. In this life. In this life. <laughs> yes. Which I am not proud of. But you're still Great. here. Still here. Were, uh, also, were you going to say that your team was silent but deadly? Because that's what it sounded like it was going to do. No, we were silent and unseen. We would go in without anyone noticing us. Kill the first few Good lines of defense. Me. And then the rest of our army would charge in, take, conquer, and slave whatever was left. What exactly were you fighting? We were pirates. We were fighting your kind. Mm -hmm. I can understand you that. You mean oh people who live in the sunshine or are humans? People who live in the sunshine that decided to go underground and if anyone went a little too far down, began taking them and then my former faction got bolder and now seem bent on a full-blown uh, war on the surface. I met some of the unfortunate people who passed through my control and learned there was a much different life that could be lived. And, um... It turns out not everyone's as strict as fa at, on failure as my former queen was. I met a guy, purpley gray dude. Kind of crazy. I liked it a lot of jewelry. Had a crown. We did have a raid that I heard about a few months before I left. Cool. On a dwarven mine. Sounds about right. Supposed to collect fire opals. That'd be it. Many of them were missing. Probably. Didn't know. She's like, just frantically like, I have something written down, hold on. So, you're teamed up with us now, or what? Yes, uh, we promised an engineer and a warrior. Cool. Valerie is your, your engineer, I'm... and I'm your warrior. Cool. Oh my gosh. Well, we've got a warrior. Her name is me, but you know, you're welcome to come. I guess we're going back to the duck then. If you would like to test my strength. Not interested. No, are we, we back to the duck? Need to do that. Yes. Also, we should probably see if our rentals are alive or not. Yeah, we should probably check what? What's a rental? We leave down the mountain and don't explain. <laughs> <laughs> I turn to her. If you're interested in the test of strength, you know I've been practicing uh, boxing with Crawley. We can have a go. <laughs> Come on, Gregory! Perhaps later. <laughs> oh, if they offer you a card, you should draw one. They're amazing. <laughs> they are pretty fine. <laughs> I will keep that in mind. <laughs> it made me healthier. Does it permanently make you healthier? Yes, it permanently <laughs> increased my uh, So, uh, she is also... heading down with you moment. as well. Hmm. Uh, she is staying... Uh, I'm trying to stay a little kind of in the middle of you guys. And is she still having issues with the sun? Very much so. I'm trying that... to think, is there anything I can do? But I can't think of anything because I don't have things. I don't have things for this. How do you live where it's so bright all the time? You get used to it. I think we're just used to it. Huh. I'm sure you're get, you'll get used to it as well. Well, I have heard that some of your kind has trouble living down where it's dark all the time, so... Well, I have to cast a spell just to see in the dark, or I have to turn into an animal. I can't see in the dark at That's... all. That's... Interesting. Usually I, I cast it on Torin as well, but he's not here, so I cast it on Gregor. I guess you don't need it. Um, so yeah, she keep walking down. Oh, I should thank you for the necker Uh, I'd like to grab some leaves of 
shoots off the trees and kind of make a vague like sun hat. <laughs> What did the trees ever do to you? I'm gonna want you to make a... Why would you do that? I mean, I could just give her my hat, but... Make a dexterity check with disadvantage. I think it will not do that. Here, I'll help. Gregory sees what's going on and says, Oh, that's a good idea. What is that? Give her... Uh, wait, wait, if I, I help, to make can things. I help? And, like, give her a thing. Or... Dexterity... Or just do it. So just, just do it. dexterity. Uh, that was an eight. Cool. You take some leaves and you like break a hole in one, break a hole in the other, and you like just kind of put it on her head. She's like, <laughs> just friggin', are you still on her shoulder? Yeah. Is this a custom or a ritual that I don't know of? I don't know. Blue people are weird. They're missing <laughs> body parts. Oh, you're trying to make some sort of hat. Yeah, that's such a good idea. That's I'm gonna try idea. to do something. Okay, make a tinkering check, dexterity. Tinkering dexterity check. If you want, I feel like you could ride me and we could get there faster. Yeah, really? yeah. It's 25. <laughs> 25. Or we could you pluck begin the plucking off larger leaves. I don't think and you it's just kind of twist their. Broken forest all uh, the way up to the gates. Their. Um, and fairies turn their steps together and uh, put it on top of her head and it shades it. And it's like, oh, that's a bit better. Thank you. You're quite welcome. So. Oh, you think Are women to... generally in charge up here? Yes. Always. No, no. Time. no. Time. no time. I kick I kick Sue and go. Right? Captain Sue? Torrin's in charge. He's our leader. He's I turned out. Is that, is that so? I didn't think so. Okay. To be fair, if you're strong, you're more likely to be in charge regardless of gender. Hmm. And Sue is very strong, so she is in charge because she is a captain. Because mm. the, the dwarves generally, it's always the men. But with the drow, it is only the women. Yes. I have heard of that before. And. Fascinating. It's very strict. Not. If you fail, you turn into a half spider. Oh, well, there's uh, a lady uh, who's in charge up here. Her name, I have it written down. Wait, you're turning into a half what now? Half spider. Ugh. From Are the they... waist down. What's the other half? <laughs> her, her name is, um... Mm. Nope, yes. I went too far. Well, humans... Beryl Moreau. What? We went to her party. Yes, we did go to her party. She's in... You're not there. That's true. <laughs> like, what? She... Oh, yeah, yeah, that party. <laughs> She's in charge, right? You remember, because being from a wealthy family, you went to some wealthy parties when you weren't. There's class doing stuff. order. Um, she is wealthy, and since the current governing body isn't present, she it does make her the wealthiest person on the island. So it does make her powerful, but not necessarily in charge. Yeah. So she's uh, as soon as any actual authority. Comes authority. In? So, for example, if Captain Uthric start up barking orders, she would probably do what he says. Is there like well, a, it's friggin' never met Isn't there, I yeah. can't remember, isn't there like a duke and a duchess that technically rule the island? There's Lady Tyrion, but and she is off the island. And she's gone. She's technically in charge. There's also Fahir Goldie Boy. He's great. What? Who was that? He was a dragon man. Ow. Wait, do, did I talk to him? I think so, yeah. He was at the party too. I haven't seen him since. I liked him though. Apparently, I wrote him down. So, um, you continue Wait. walking. What? Did he have a team with us? Did he get, he didn't get killed, did he? Who? Did your Goldie boy. He never went with us. Oh, wait, he, no. Did, didn't he follow us in our little oh, thing? I think so. He followed you guys into the vault, and that was it. Yeah. Let's bring in Broken Man's name. <laughs> um, you continue, it's, it's now beginning to push into evening again. You're... If you want to travel into the night, you you could get uh, reach to your town. Uh, that doesn't sound like fun. I want I think it would be Nikki fine. and Sue to both roll uh, survival checks to see if they can find their horses. Probably just went back to camp. What are you looking for? Dang it! Fourteen. Five. 
Um, what are you doing? You find one of the horses pretty easily, as its carcass is being ripped apart by wolves. What? No! We paid Dead. for that! Damn it! Cast yes. speak with animals on myself. Hello, friends! Spriggan, why are you waiting? Are you talking to the horse or the wolves? More food? No, no more food. Mm, that's good food. food, and they start eating. Just keep ripping the horse. <laughs> horse is dead now. Yeah. God, it, we were attacked by wolves, and they got the horse. Okay. But there were like 80 wolves. Yes, there were a lot 80, of them. Lots of them. There's significantly less than 80 wolves. <laughs> you Most will say of, nothing. Spriggan, you won't remember this. No, no, I think I will, because they're going to come with us. What? No! Well, no. We're not taking- no, we cannot. We cannot keep not them. Wolves. They're not ours. Which- which wolf appears to be the alpha? Uh, make a nature check. <laughs> this is why we're here. <laughs> this is bad. No, not really. That is a 13. I don't want 13. to pay with my liver. You just see the biggest one there. Here's I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast animal friendship on him. All right. He needs to make the wisdom saving throw. All that right. Ends. He fails with five. He's charmed by me now. So this particular one. This. Mm-hmm. Hello. Would you like to come with us and get more food and be my friends? More food? Yes. I think Larry should be able to feed you all. <laughs> roll. <laughs> roll your persuasion check with advantage. Larry's gonna. <laughs> We can't lip understand you, lip. can we? Uh, persuasion, that is a 17. He's looking at you. Looks at the horse. Looks at you. Looks at the ways of the horse. More food? More food. Ooh. Food where? Food this way. <laughs> Alright, everybody, we're going. Spriggan, what All did right. you do? Great. They're my friends now. We just have to keep on feeding them. <laughs> oh, we can't feed... Wolves, Spriggan. Three wolves break off. So it's this guy and two other ones. Now I have four animal companions. Been following you guys. <laughs> Spriggan. Oh, I can't wait till Torn comes back. Torn will um, be so proud. I got him a present. <laughs> the shield. Sure. <laughs> um. So, you guys continue away. There are three wolves currently following you guys. I can't see them if it's dark. Um, I can't see anything if it's dark. The uh, Lilith yeah. looks curiously at the wolves. And, huh. They're small. What do you mean? They're huge. Small. <laughs> They're wolves. Well, I, I guess the things that I've seen are just the underdark twist things, so it's... Have you seen giant wolves? I've seen large creatures similar to this, but monstrous and horrifying. Fascinating. That's the Underdark for you. ba da ba ba da ba Alright, uh... I can turn to large and monstrous things, too. That is true. I'll check yeah. a few times. Crushes her spine. <laughs> um, In nine more levels, I can eat you without going through a bunch of loopholes. Uh, so... That's comforting. Um... I mean, I can eat you now, but it'll take a while. Eventually, um, it's starting to get very dark now. Um, you can see 15 feet in front of you, and then another 15 feet very faintly. Um, meanwhile, Lilith can look around. She's looking around. Just like, oh, is is it starting to get too dark for you? I'm good. All right. It's quite dark. They're all blind. I just stop. I'm just like I cast dark vision on I myself. I can't okay. see. Anymore. Are we heading towards the that, uh... We're heading towards Those the lights town. over there? Yep. Yeah. Yes. That would be the town, yes. Is there moonlight? There is moonlight. Um, but it's very faint. So wait, how far away is the town? About five miles. Oh, so we can just push on through and get there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I suppose I can cast dark vision on Gregory and you. Oh, well, thank you, Spriggan. Thanks, Spriggan. <laughs> yeah. Alright. pick you up. <laughs> now being able to see all or, of you. Or we can all see now? Yeah. I can see now. Okay, uh, never mind. Now you have the worst You're vision. like, and I'm like, 
Wait, wait, Nikki, what are you doing? You're like, you wait, you can see? Yes. Awesome! Never mind. Spriggan can cast dark vision. Great, thank you, Spriggan. Let's go. Um, so you, you guys get to the uh, village gate, the, the town gates, which are closed. Fine. I'm walking the um, but that's okay. The door <laughs> is shut of <laughs> so, uh, the main gates. The though. door is shut. No, I have dark vision in um, one eye. Guard oh, oh, right. not. We have some hungry wolves out here. There's kind of no reply. <laughs> I just, like, knock on it really quickly. Let us in so we can leave the hungry wolves out here. No! We don't! Door opens. <laughs> what? There are wolves. <laughs> we want to come in. It's us. We're back. <laughs> You guys don't seem really concerned about the wolves. They're my friends. Just shut the door before they come in. Oh, it's you. Yeah. Hi. Opens up the door. Just the smaller inset door so you guys can walk in. Spriggan, no wolves. They're not allowed inside the city. They allow you inside the city. Are they tame? You take these that don't belong to you. No, they're not tame. Close the door, please. They are charmed. It's practically the same thing. <laughs> Not really. Oh, yeah. squishing check. On the on with advantage because it's on the wolves. Uh, another seventeen. Okay. Wolves are like food. Yes, food. Look at the guard. Food. <laughs> ah. <right>. Okay. What? <laughs> um. The guard looks at them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, they look kind of tame, but if there's any problems, we're putting them down. You understand? Yes. All Kill right. Now. Kill them now. If there's any problems, you will try but to put I them down, and I will put food. you down. You wouldn't want me to break my promise, would you? I'm going to feed you to them. <laughs> food. <laughs> <laughs> Are you telling them Sue's food? <laughs> Thinking about it, I, I can't talk with them right now. Okay. Speak with animals only lasts for ten minutes, but animal oh, friendship okay. lasts for twenty four hours. Um. So. They, you continue your way to the duck as you all walk in. Oh, Larry. Um. The guard's like, wait, just real quick. Same yeah. procedure. Who is this? This is Lila. She's a nice lady. She's really nice. She's cool. Hello. I am nice. <laughs> <laughs> Did she say that? And cool. Do you remember that dwarf we brought? She hit her head. She, apparently, she came from the same kind of place. It's her cousin. Yeah. Came from the same wreck. Yeah. Same they yeah. crashed into each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they didn't actually crash. They've been on the island for a while. Just one day in the woods, they were just running. I would be running towards each other at the same time. And, you know. We were both on the ship, the Overbright. I ran ashore and. These people found me. Yeah. yeah. I am not very creative. <laughs> the, great great great. the guards are like. Great. All right. Don't cause trouble. Do whatever guards tell you. Don't cause trouble. She won't cause trouble. She's the best. I do. <laughs> <laughs> None of those things. No. I'm just over here like, don't worry. We'll keep an eye on her. Right, so I you guys will personally continue keep an eye on her. To uh, the sitting duck. Oh, Larry. Oh, yes, what have you? Chakal! I need lots of food. <laughs> Chakal can I feed them. they like meat. Chakal, do you... Preferably yeah, raw. Chakal and Norbert get mm -hmm. three pet bulls. Oh, my gosh, I was thinking, yes. Do you want to, you know, finish your they soup? They also might like it if it runs first. Uh-huh. All right. I mean... Albert. There's this chicken that's been wandering around one of the rooms. Not, no. Yes, we can totally see with that. <laughs> no. I need bugs in case none of your business ever betrays me. What? None the of chicken your business. that nearly killed you. No, this is, this is Nikki. Oh, okay. None of your business. Who? What? None of your business. <laughs> Who's none of your business? Do I see none of your business? Um, yeah, uh, Chakal and that's Al none of your Albert business. are still... <laughs> Paul or Albert? <laughs> Who? <laughs> the girl or the guy? The girl? <laughs> Wait, one of them's the a girl? The hesitation, though. <laughs> <laughs> the one with the sun hat inside? What's the sun hat? The big floppy hat. Yes. Is that... Did you call her none of your business? <laughs> That's what she told me to call her. <laughs> Her name's Chakal? 
I won't remember that. None of your business is so much easier. <laughs> Well, it already has a neural pathway in my very brain. Very confused. What's a neural uh, pathway? Oh, well, you hey, Ninja! Found out with a cute nickname that you gave yourself. What? <laughs> what even over. is that? <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> yeah, Nikki goes over and starts. A, uh, a chewing messenger. Out to Paul and also, like, explain runs this off. Thing. Uh, Larry's been talking to him a little bit. Um, no, he seems to still be working at the docks doing stuff. Um, so, um, Larry also and up, and um, who is this? This is Lily. She is a nice lady. She is. Hello. And these are my wolves. Yes, I met them. They are not coming inside. They're already inside. Okay, you need to go yep. outside. No. Look, Larry and we have me. we have a stable where we can keep most of the animals. I am all right with your chicken staying inside for a bit. This is the new plan. But Nikki. take the oh, two yeah, following like, ones. I have five animal companions. Nikki, now. we could bring the wolves back and just put them back in and just be like. Hey, horses got turned into wolves. <laughs> um, you are a brilliant genius, and I'm liking this plan. <laughs> um, so, hey, Springer, can if we they want two to... of your wolves? Why? We're going to put them in the stable. <laughs> Why? Because be that's where there. they belong. And they can food. do their business. We they'll can get food feed there. there. They'll be lonely. They're, they'll have each other. They won't be lonely. I'm talking about the good ones. Well, isn't he your friend? But they're all my friends. If you can tr prove to me that they're housebroken, you can let one of them inside. Can one of them immediately <laughs> like, try to well, eat Well, the best way to prove that is to have them stay inside. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was a 24. He looks at you. He narrows his eyes. He kneels down. Okay. But. If I find. Or smell. Or have any complaints from any of the other guests. They're out. Alright. Alright. Completely reasonable. Alright. I'm now going to cast Speak with Animals. All right, so listen up. Food? Yes, we're going to get you lots of food. There's some ground rules. One, no poopy no peeing. <laughs> if you, <laughs> while you are inside the building. Ever again. Two, if something moves, don't chase it. <laughs> Number three, this that short thing right there, that is Larry. If you want food, you just go over to him and you beg like this. <laughs> Ooh, well for performance. <laughs> Immediately, all three wolves go up to Larry, <laughs> and all three of the wolves are gonna roll performance. <laughs> oh my god! I need to look up what a wolf's charisma score is. <laughs> Bet you nobody's had to do that before. <laughs> Maybe with advantage because they're actually wolves. That's supposed to spring. I do a very good job. I do a very good impression. Wolf impression. Brown shapes into some. That's a total length. one. Oof. That's a that's a ten. That's a total zero. <laughs> the alpha looks the most. <laughs> they learn so fast. Oh yes, and if you need to go, just scratch the door. Somebody will let you out. Susan's are like. So are we taking care of some dogs now? Animals. So now they become Whatever. tavern pets. Since everybody has to take care of them now. No, no, they're gonna be with us all the time. Oof. I can write them. Alright. So, um. Big. Moving big. along. You want the exact There's same size as a wolf. Fix that. Too big. A while um, passes. See the half her size, right? Wolf. And the, uh, the, the messenger comes back uh, <laughs> from the docks. 
with a wheelbarrow full of fish. fish. And poof, plops off into the trough in the outside area. Bon appetit. The dog, uh, the wolves, go at it. Don't uh, worry, I'll train them only to attack Torin's enemies. Lilith How is... do you define Torin's enemies? <laughs> Anybody who I think is a threat to Torin. <laughs> Lilith is there. <laughs> um, so... I think you sleep with the girls. Okay. Yeah. Uh, because Lilith... apparently we segregate. Why don't you come with <laughs> me? I'll take you up to the girls... Room. I, I have. Don't know if we have the bed. We have baths. Because I have, I have a bed. Yep. Yeah. You have a bed mm-hmm. because Tessa's not there. Right. Chakal has a bed. Yeah. Which means Val must have slept somewhere. So yeah. she would have to have a bed. Which means we need another bed. We're out of beds. Larry! Val isn't there tonight. I know, but she could uh, come back in the middle of the night or something. Well, I, I can but share with Jacob. That's true. Val and, uh, you, the idea that Val well, and well, you can Torrin are working Torrin's overnight. Well, you bed since he's not here. Alright. I can do that. Torrin. I think that is not a good idea. No, Spaghetti. we don't Why do not? that. Because that's the guy's room. Yeah. But it's just me and Gregory, because... Savin's not here. And Torin's not here. And those are the only people who aren't here. So we have two of them. I'm just gonna beds. kick Chakal and make him scoot over. Fine with me, I guess she can sleep in Chakal's bed. Yeah. Okay. I'm confused. <laughs> We've got a bed for you. Okay. Things change around here. Sometimes people just leave or die and they bury them under boulders <laughs> so our bed arrangements change pretty common all the time yeah. all right why don't you come with me and i'll get yeah. situated okay, so you take her so upstairs with, yeah, okay. yeah. So so girls upstairs. are leaving girls are leaving we go upstairs all right she follows it no we're actually going to give her nikki's bed because nikki's the new one right and who knows what kind of weaponry is stuck in Chakal's bed right now? Yeah, you're probably so. It's probably just a trauma rock. That's right, because you would have given. There's a trauma rock under the pillow, so when you go. So, so that would be fine. There's that would be there. fine. Like, Nikki's hardly been there, so it's. Yeah. We're all good. It's all, all right, good. So. It's, it's actually, like, been. Lilith is in. And stuff. Uh, there's, like, Nikki's no blood bed. in Nikki's bed. <laughs> what? I said there's no blood in exactly. Nikki's bed. Exactly. Um, Chakal's is kind of sketch. <laughs> Are Chakal and Nikki sharing one? Yes. And Chakal doesn't around. know this yeah. yet, because cool. she'll find out later, All I right. guess. Um, so if she comes back. Anything else anyone wants to do before everyone rests for the night? I'm just going to start working on taming the wolves. Stay downstairs. All right, I'll play make with the three animal handling checks. Albert has a house. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be whispering trying to be friendly with the wolves a little bit. 16. Does animal friendship give you advantage on that? Or? No, he doesn't. He lived in the back of his shop, which is gone now. That's true. He doesn't have a place to live now. Who? Oh yeah, Albert. Okay. Albert. Where is he living now? Albert and uh, um, Jim's are sharing a room at the Duck. That's right. No, it's just Charmed by me and Aunt. She can stay. I don't. Charmed only gives me advantage on charisma James checks, making me okay. Okay. So, and we'll handle it as a wisdom check. Do you want? Do you want to make sure? This is why you always take so, your stuff. First one was sixteen. All right. Second one was seventeen. You never leave okay. stuff in your bed. And third one was another 16. Like, pull up okay. three knives. Um, <laughs> like, they seem to be getting it all right. Um, I wonder my back hurts. As far as like general being okay around people and like manners go, <laughs> not working out so well. Um, tricks or commands, also what not very good right now, but you have gotten them the gist <laughs> of going outside when they need to go. <laughs> as you, you kind of write that as like, that, that's the. <laughs> That's that's Larry's <laughs> rule, so we can work on the other things later. Uh, I'm okay, cool. I'm gonna try to be friendly with the dogs or something. Okay. Uh, make three animal handling tests as well. So. Oh, and her her big turn up. Yeah, sure. Well, no, but like, never mind. That's a nat one. There's she. Five. That's a nat one. Cool. You walk in. Um. You kind of trip on the hay, uh, the step on one of the um, like wolf's tails, she's got, she's got fall down, and you land into one of the wolves. Like, 
hello. And that wolf is like, Arr? but the other two are like, mm. and we're gonna call a break here. Oh, okay. Sounds good. idea.
All right, and we are back. Unfortunately. As you yep. guys are having your rest, um, Death comes as uh, Chikal <laughs> Bill bids a romantic goodnight to Albert and returns to the room, and uh, Nikki takes that however she takes it. She's kind of confused. Wait, what happened? Because she goes over to her bed and there's somebody in it. And she's like, whoops, sorry, wrong bed. And then she's like, wait, all the beds are full. So she's just sort of wandering around and Nikki kind of just reaches out and is like, we're sharing now, you idiot. And just pulls her in and is just like, so, sp down. Spriggan said to me. She's kind of offended, but not really. Lilith? That, yes. Okay. That it was great fun to pull a card. I don't know what she's talking about. Like a you could behind well, you. Some we, two of our friends have cards and Dex Which deck card is Dex and Um not that one. Well uh, sometimes a, they're good yes. and sometimes they're bad. I feel uh, like Gregory's are better than Chakal's. Yeah, Gregory's are less risky than Chakal's. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> Here, the one pull a card. Black. No. Um, it's the one with the longer. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Um, Lilith, you should know. Yes. Chakal's cards are. So they're fun. Just pull potentially one. more dangerous. This is cool. Than Gregory's cards. Why are those nice to me? Dangerous Turn. how? They're fun. I got wings one time. Yeah, you could also like be vomiting for like a day or something. I don't think I have that one. The only one that I took said, made me grow. You said that Gregory's were perhaps safer? They're potentially uh, cool. safer all around. I'll be back. She goes over to the guy's goes, door. Come on, please! Knocks on the door. Pull a car. Nobody wants to pull my cards. My cards are cool. So you hear, um, yeah. two of you hear a knock on the door. You're the only one who can open it. <laughs> yes, I open the door. I was told that drawing a card was good fun, and I haven't had fun in... A minute. I don't... can't think of a time I really had fun. Um, so... Oh, well, I had fun. Well, I'm happy for you. Um... <laughs> I was told that your cards were safer to draw. Oh. Well, yes. I mean, probably all of them are good. I don't remember whose cards I pulled. I do believe they have legitimately I don't less, remember who. less effects than I think the other ones. Who oh. does Gregory have your cards? I have no idea. I think I pulled. She calls cards. Alright, she's, she's pulling a card. Pull card. Okay. Spriggan pulled a card before, but I think it was from Gregory's deck. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What is it? What is it? She gets a bit of a teary look in her eye. Oh no! <laughs> look what you did! I haven't had fun. <laughs> oh no! Because I was a pirate back in the day. <laughs> Not this kind. I can't hear her, right? Sure, you will say you, you followed her. Everyone's probably walking out. Everyone's probably gathered you, What? Now. Gregor, you made um, her cry. Shame on you. Wait, wait. I, I have a card you would draw. The Spider Queen, the, the priestesses, they. They use my skills to invade other settlements. And so she they, starts telling you right stories of her past as she <laughs> begins trying not to cry and beginning to fail as she reflects on her past. Um, as uh, she was, her ankle there, there. <laughs> she was born into a lower caste of the uh, of Drow society, um, and they really only respect ambition if you can pull it off. Seems reasonable. So, being uh, training from a very young age with a blade, uh, at the age of 12, which for an elf is very young, Maybe. Um, oh my gosh. she scored her I mean, first assassination. They mature, wow. they mature at the same rate as you. But still. They're just usually uh, not considered an adult until they're at least 100. Seriously. So they have, so they have time to grow as a person. A child. Um, so basically she, this is like a two-year-old. You an assassin? <laughs> two year old divided to ten year old, I guess. I don't know. Twelve um, year old, technically. Still a twelve year old. Mm -hmm. um, so, she went through a series of more covert assassinations uh, where people couldn't quite find out who was behind it and the political shifting structure. And then she made herself very known and very publicly declared that she was from a lower caste and she was taking out the higher ups. 
because of her raw skill. Um, witnessing potential in a motivated and highly um, skilled recruit, they began training her and tr building her up and began teaching her in the ways to become a priestess of Lulth. However, oh they God. began... Um, she began uh, seeing how strict that structure was, and those who failed were turned into dryders, um, centaurs of peep, woman and spider, basically. Problems. And deciding that she did not want such a fate. Um, Reasonable. She instead opted to be it's part of. Like she has a fear of um, decided she wanted to be part of a practically a suicide squad that would rush forward weaken defenses, and then the rest of the troops would go into any settlement. But she decided that, hey, you know what? I can be sneaky. So she would sneak into the uh, groups from behind, take out the first few lines of the defenses, and then open up gates. Yes? Um, am I allowed to ask, as a player, what her class is? Her class is Drow Elite Warrior. She does not have player classes. <sighs> yeah, she has. She has a man's monster stat block. Is she a monster? She is in the monster manual. Yes, she is. But but could I cast whole person? It would be whole person. She is a humanoid. Humanoids are in the monster manual too. Like commoners. I cast whole person on the commoner. Pages. He's in the monster manual. Ha ha ha. Um, <laughs> I cast hold monster on the commoner. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, he fails to save because he's pathetic. <laughs> yeah, I used my sixth level spell. <laughs> mm. oh, yeah. Alright. Yeah. So strong. <laughs> Great. Now he won't be able to pick up that tomato and throw it at me. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, how do I get out of these stocks? <laughs> 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 um. So she. Um. Uh. The the people in the underdark like would take. Down? Yeah, she, she's an. Are you guys all in the hallway at this point? I invited her in after okay. that yeah. horrible fiasco. Um. So Does Gregory made her cry? Right um. And uh, she would. Cry, um, so anyway, she would she would go in. She would um, kill the nice out the first cry, three levels Gregory. of defense, What's open the up the gates, and then let the rest of the evading armies in. And um, after killing the first group, and then started taking the next groups as slaves or for experimentation, or uh, to trade them through the various underdark traders. Um, and when they started getting closer and closer towards out of the underdark and into just the underground. Uh, she started seeing people had a different expectation of life than everything being miserable. Oh, wow. And because life is sacred. And she starts realizing that there's there are other factions in existence and it's not one group versus tiny pockets of civilization that are easily snuffed out. There's actual like defendable bastions of civilization <laughs> besides her own. And being ambitious, she <laughs> thought that she could maybe escape. So she did. And she's been fighting against her own kind ever since. Wow. This is an amazing story. I'm sorry, could you repeat that, that I need to write it down? What? Uh, I don't think that card was very fun. Mark how one of mine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's all like, yeah. <laughs> Would you like us to get you some alcohol? Does <laughs> make people this feel better, this might just be her best thing. She bruises. Oh, so I'm told. Mm -hmm. It makes me feel nothing. You can't have any. She it would make me feel nothing. Sits up kind of uncomfortably. <laughs> no! Stands up. And a tail. <laughs> Grows out. Cool! Whoa! Is it furry? Can I touch it? I want to touch it. Face palms in the background. It's more, um, more like a tiefling's tail in a way. Ooh, I want to touch it. Um, okay, you are now awkwardly stroking her backside. She is giving you an odd look. so cool. She likes tails and flying. She looks at you. Do you want to try a card? And grabs your arm with the tail. This is... Very. This reminds me of something. This reminds me of a lot of my past. No, this reminds me of how I got a scar on my lip. I think I would like you to let go now, please. Okay. I'm kissing. I so want to draw another card. Wait. 
I run downstairs. Is Larry still there? Ten um, shots of vodka. <laughs> he's about uh, to turn up for the night. Larry, hold on. Can you give me a shot of something? I just need a shot of something. I'm gonna Steal go I think you have a problem. I'm gonna go do something really stupid. <laughs> then why would you need a shot? Clearly it's- I don't want it to hurt so bad. <laughs> Susan, <laughs> I'm cutting you off. Please give her a shot. Make sure she has nothing more tonight. I and go make sure she doesn't tonight. get hurt. I don't so know that. You had a you glass of wine with dinner. <clears throat> so you you get a shot of something. Of something we don't know. What Susan <laughs> walks you back upstairs. All right, what's the shenanigans this time? Okay, I'm ready now. <laughs> Wait, are we all drawing cards? Here? I need a D four. <laughs> I've drawn one of these, yes. But oh. um, I also have a <laughs> <laughs> Have you been shuffling them? Or yes. are you just You have a tail now? Yep. <laughs> Gregory stands up and Uh-huh. Oh. I mean he has more of a tail than he already did. Yeah. Wait, do I have a tail? I'm sure. Goat. So, Lower half, so yes, you would have a tail. Sue visibly shrinks oh. about a head. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. You're shorter. Yes, I am. But I also feel faster. You'll always be big to me. But you know, I think this I mean, was not always, fun. obviously, because sometimes I am bigger than you. You know, I don't really get a chance to talk to people about my past. Dwarves are much for conversation down oh, there. I don't know if they're different up here. They can be if they're not working and drinking. You know, dwarf, that's rather talking to <laughs> You do? This isn't Vulcan. Kind of. So you rest for the evening, unless. Oh no, okay. Spring it! Wait, no! Wait, <laughs> I shrink two feet. <laughs> no! What happens, Ben? I'm only four inches tall. I want I'm you losing to two feet. I want you to roll a Constitution saving throw. Oh my god! Well, obviously you flip and burn. You made him disappear. And an intelligence saving throw. Oh no! I'm going. <laughs> in no! He's going subatomic <laughs> to the quantum realm. I, I didn't even think about it. Wanna... Ah! That was so, so I think, close. I think so. Uh, he should con now be. save is a 14. He should. Awesome, that failed. He should now be 1 foot 8 inches in reverse. <laughs> Just like upside down. So he, like. There's always like a pocket into the ground where he is. That's a 9 on my intelligence. Awesome. <laughs> You're dying. You wake up. I do gain one more point of dexterity, which does increase my dex. <laughs> oh yeah, I have a question. Yeah. So when I, I think you drew the same card that I did. Yeah. When I rolled for dexterity, I got a three. What am I adding that to? Your dexterity. Well, that's twenty-one now. Awesome. Dang. To, you only have a maximum of twenty. Though. I know. That's so what it's only I was a asking. 20. So well, it only goes up to twenty. I mean, it doesn't really matter because yeah. It's not like um, I'm gonna make a dex save. But the this next is. Day. <laughs> This is magical BS, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I mean, 21 still wouldn't change. Help. <laughs> anyway, so... Um, you have no name. You have... <laughs> no memory. Here we go, back to the event. But <laughs> there's... Circles bum, around bum, you. Bum, 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 and... Bum. You feel yourself able to move bum. through them a bit. <laughs> Meanwhile, you guys, Spriggan vanishes. <laughs> ah! What did you Where do? I? Real quick, how many days did that? Is that effect? Two days. Oh my gosh, it's way longer than Ooh. I. Oh. <laughs> Does it affect me if I pick up a card somebody else drew? No, the 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 it's. But it's, for him, it'll only feel like two hours. <laughs> that's true. All right. <laughs> Time goes differently based on size. Or maybe it's two years. Chakal, maybe. trembling, reaches down and goes, says, I didn't know I had a card that killed people. <laughs> uh, maybe 
Oh, he's okay. okay. He only shrank some feet. No, no, you can't read it. They're, they look blank. They look blank. Oh, wait. Oh, she fixed it up. <laughs> you shrink two feet. Uh, yeah. Um, you can't read it. So. Maybe, maybe he's just invisible. Spring in. Can Hello. you hear me? Wait, wait, wait. I'll use sending. <laughs> <laughs> What if I'm on another, technically on another plane of existence? No. <laughs> wait, I think I have like. Wait, I saw that somewhere. Did, did I get Quantum realm is its own universe, so I would be in another plane of existence. To be fair, okay. that is how the science works. <laughs> to be fair, I, I use sending. Spriggan, where did you go? So it worked like an automatic <laughs> comm link. You get nothing. Nothing? You get static. <laughs> I think, isn't there a rule that it. There's like a save or something if he is on another plane? Um. Micah knows good. everything. Look it up, please. Why didn't you grab right, your I cards think... before everything started? I don't, I don't have Micah a sending card. Stuff. I don't know why, but I don't have a sending card. That is interesting. Also, I don't know where cards are. They're right. back there. Sending! Ah, so, you can send the message across any distance and even to other planes of existence, but if a target is on a different plane than you, there is a 5% chance that the message doesn't arrive. Oh! Wow. How do you get 5 Roll a percentile. <laughs> Tell me if it's higher than 5. Yes. Oh! 55. <laughs> I saw cool. 5 and I, I was like... I need to check things. <laughs> but I don't have a name anymore, so... It's like my phone's been disconnected. Oh, hang on. Spriggan, where'd you go? Where's that? Where's Spriggan? Where are you? What? Oh, Spriggan. <laughs> I need you to roll a d8, Spriggan. A d8? Yeah. That's a two. Two. Okay. Oh. You see through these circles a dusky gray color, and you push through it. And you start seeing. Gray fractured stony visions as as you start to feel different. Roll a d6. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What's What's going on? Three. Awesome. You have disadvantage on death saves no. and on dexterity checks. And you Ooh. gain the following flaw. You don't believe you can make a difference to anyone or anything. No! You are in the shadow fell, and your soul is despaired. So this is to call accidentally Wait. ruins everything? <laughs> what? Is, there, is this an actual rule? So yeah. when, he, so no, when like, he's not he went into the, He shrank into the deep ethereal plane. Okay. He fell into one of the curtains into the shadow fell. And he uh, is now affected by apathy. But so when he gets big again, again oh. he'll still have the same flaw? Yes. Oh, um, I'm, I'm so sorry. Yes, I'm not going to be having cure wounds or healing word or bark or enhance ability or dark um, vision. Ever. It is mechanically possible to reverse that effect. Um, but yeah, but yeah, but he currently has that until until you figure that out. I see yeah. the floss so I can write it down. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. And also now you know how to reverse it. So if somebody tries that on you, you can you know figure that out. So, so there's a rule like that says if you shrink. Too far? Or is that no? Just that one stuff? was me coming up. I'm like, he'll just go into the ethereal plane, I guess. Okay. Cause I don't know. Well, he's gotta do something. Um. Meanwhile, as you begin feeling this despair, you hear oh, Gregory. Where'd you go, Gregory? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Spriggan, where'd you go? I want you to make a straight intelligence roll. Ooh, that's a plus two. Okay. Um, right, there's a magic on the intelligence? No, it's not that. Uh, 15. It's pretty good. Yeah, oh, no, sorry. Name. 14. Yeah, you still remember your name was Spriggan. You remember that Spriggan had two goals to help Torin and to find Marcel. And you haven't found Marcel. Yeah. And Torin did pretty good without you for a while. Yeah. Torin seems to have moved on with this new Sue person. Oh, I feel bad. Yeah. And Torin's getting a new shield from 
from Lilith now. Colin doesn't Sad. need me anymore. No. This is terrible! I guess it's a good thing I just disappeared. No. Wait, wait, did I respond? That's how I responded. <laughs> you guess it's a good thing you just disappeared? <laughs> yeah. So, you hear... Wait, shouldn't I roll percentile to see if it actually... Oh, yeah. That's a six. Whoa! <laughs> Very faintly, you hear Spriggan's response that maybe that Torin doesn't need him. Maybe it's better that he just disappeared. I guess sending again. <laughs> <laughs> Nonsense, Spriggan. We all need you. Get back here at once. <laughs> Roll. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. 66. Wait, wait, 96. Anyway, yeah, we're good. It's over Roll five. persuasion. Yeah. 19. Um, roll insight with disadvantage. Ah, I wish I could cast spells through sending. That was a natural 20 on my first roll. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I have ridiculous. That's a 12. All right. You know, Gregory's a nice guy. He is nice, but I can't help him anymore. Yeah, you know, he's he's encouraged a lot of people in the middle of rough spots, but it doesn't help you. You can't help him. I can't help anybody anymore. Do you say that? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um. 46. <laughs> You're a long rest after this round. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Potentially. I'm gonna send one more. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> you can cast it at a higher level. Uh, what? You can cast it at a higher level. I'm still only at level 3. I mean, I can still is only cast... Is sending at level 3? It is the third level. Also, what does casting at a higher level do? Uh, just allows you to send it. Is the warlock or is this? I think that's oh, warlock. Oh, no. no, this has the other brick. It's just strings. Oh, I think it's the... that's, that's also yeah, he doesn't okay. have the sending card Sending's though. In here. Um, okay, wait, what did you say? Uh, just casting at a higher level doesn't mean anything. It just means you can still right, cast right. it. But what did Spriggan say? Uh, what did you say? What? <laughs> oh, um, that <laughs> nonsense. Of course we need you. And then you said I. You, what did you say? You, I can't help anyone or something? Uh, yeah, or no, or you can't. Anymore. I can't help anybody anymore. It's so uh, sad. No, okay. I'm sending one more. Okay. But I can't. Um, never mind. This is very strange. It's friggin' mm. somebody who values life and is so full of it's it. Like, it's all about changing into different kinds of life. It's in a place of complete undeath. Anyway, you're now the I know. I, d I just say, well, of course you can. Uh, you you help Torin. Let's see. Of course you can. <laughs> you help Torin wild shaping all the time. Uh, and all of us, something like that. And I'm gonna roll. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. there's a table there, but I'm pretty sure that was basically an actual one to persuasion. <laughs> I mean, not like you can get out of here anyway, but... You still also need to roll percentile to see, oh, yeah, roll percentile yeah, to see if your natural persuasion went through. Because this is very important. I know. It's like, yeah. Oh, man. I mean, nothing's going to happen. Um, you know, his words sound really hollow. Like he's thinking about something else already. Like, you know... You didn't need me. You guys did fine without me. Who's gonna help? you can. Okay. Um. Are you guys gonna take a rest now? Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously, I turned everyone safe. Oh, it, dang it, I don't have sending. I was gonna it. say, take care of my wolf since I can't. You wanna include that in your last message? Yeah. <laughs> it's like there's a long pause when I say <laughs> that. I, he, well, I don't know where he is, but he seems awfully sad, and as though he can't do anything or, or help anyone. But he's alive. Well, That's yes. That's good. Oh, wait. Never mind. Nope, I'm dead. <laughs> you were talking to a dead person. <laughs> uh, so you take your rest, and, um, I mean, Dead people aren't just in a different plane, right? They're, like, it's, 
they're dead. Are they? Are they invisible? Their soul goes to another plane, but. Wait, not debate how death works. Um, <laughs> so, uh. Um, <laughs> Anyway. This episode. And this episode, Spriggan is microscopic in the Shadowfell. Um, so. Fighting what's... off undead amoebas and <laughs> paramecians. Um, so Lilith goes to bed, but she takes her a while to go to sleep because she's talking about friends she's seen, <laughs> friends she's lost, and other people who just kind of disappeared from and her she's lives. Trying, she's trying to get used to sleeping with a tail now. Yeah. Uh-oh. That must be a She's kind of like hugging herself with it a little bit um, as she's remembering her rather fast um, and of all characters seriously what what guy- now way more than it used to be what uh are you guys doing are you just going to sleep to I'm the only one in my room right now man <laughs> just like Um, for sake of sanity, I'd like to push through the next two days real quick. To see what happens to Spriggan. Oh, uh, I'm back to normal size. Should I be rolling? Well, like no, 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 no. Not yet. Not yet. So, it's now the next day. Yeah. What would you guys like to do? Uh, you mean immediately the next day or yeah. two days? Well, no, immediately the next day. Okay. Um, immediately I'll spend the next some time day. tinkering on. Ah, yes. Um... You, you started getting supplies and stuff. Uh, go ahead and make a tinker check. Jamal's gonna cry herself to sleep. <laughs> I think he's just gonna, like, pass yeah, out. Or it looked like it. She's just gonna feel yes. bad for a while and then, 20, like, 23. finally go to All right. sleep. Alright. You think that for... Try to not encourage to call. About 500 gold, you could get the materials you need to make your catapult. I'm running short, guys. Uh, I, I go do that. Alright. So you spent 500 gold. You now have um, your magma catapult uh, supplies. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you do? I'm gonna try to do something with the wolves. All right. Uh, you go to the wolves. They look at you and they look around for Spriggan. They're not small beasts, right? No. They're medium beasts. Oh, oh wait. So. Wait, wait, does sending allow you to talk? No. But, 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 it said, I spread it, it said, like, it, they understand if they have an intelligence of more than one? Do they have intelligence of I think one? they have to, they, I have to have at least an intelligence of one or higher in order to receive the message. Okay. Are you going to cast sending on a wolf? They, still they don't have any way of understanding. Okay. But, uh, the alpha is still charmed by me <laughs> for, uh, I don't remember what time. Probably. 12 hours more. So, yeah, so... You got that going for you. Yeah, until, yeah, you know, going for me. Until somebody harms it. Um, okay, yeah, just but, make an animal handling yeah. check, I guess, with the... Wait, so Spring is not there, so we can try to take those wolves to stable. Three. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, you get the idea that Spring's maybe a little feeling depressed. Maybe you shouldn't get rid what? of his pets. <laughs> okay. Three. Yeah, they're they're not paying attention to you at all. They're looking for Spriggan. Where's Spriggan? Sue, I think you do you do this particular day? Yes, I want to go talk to Haylock. Okay. Um Tessa. Yeah. Uh, we both. Go. I go to the stables. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna ignore that. I don't really want to. I went to the stables way. first. Uh the old man's there. Yes. How much would it cost to replace those horses? Well, that'd be 75 gold per horse. Great! I owe you two horses. I noticed. I'm really, really sorry. We were attacked by giant, crazy, weird spiders. Uh-huh. And we killed the spiders. Good for you. The horses were poisoned. We tried to save them. Uh-huh. Wolves. And the wolves attacked. Uh-huh. So, that happened. Uh-huh. Can we have these both? Have some money. Here, have gold. It'll make you feel better. So you give him 150 gold for the two horses. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right. So, Hallen and Tessa. Tessa. It's like overtime. Is... Uh, Hallen is sort of pacing back and forth in his room. Oh, hello. Hi. How are you doing today? 
fine. I have to look up at him more because I'm still here. <laughs> you seem as if you're a bit shorter than you were before. Yes, I drew a card. I see. So how's the rest of the party holding up? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Get a new member. Funny you should ask. Actually, we have some new friends. Spriggan's missing and depressed. And some of our other friends are working. Missing where? I don't know. He disappeared. As in he wandered off in the night again, or he... No, he drew a card. <laughs> <laughs> and then none of us know that he just shrunk, <laughs> and we're all worried that there's a card that just, like, makes you vanish from existence. <laughs> <laughs> makes you a depressed ghost. <laughs> <laughs> now we can do some ghost hunts. <laughs> concerned at the moment. I'm sorry. Um, no, I, 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 I don't know how he's just vanished and Gregory talked to him, but he seemed like he wanted to be left alone. Oh. So we know he's alive. We just don't know where. If there's anything I can do to help, let me know. Of course. Um, how's Tessa? She's progressing quickly. We're thinking maybe only a month, maybe a few weeks. It's, it's only been four months, which is unnaturally fast. Yes, well, she it has been through a lot since she got kidnapped. Yes, but I understand that's... That's not genetically normal. No. I'm concerned. The she seems healthy though, so there's that going for us. And the camera died, I think. I really want to make an awful joke about him just having a baby Shelly, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I don't think he's seen Shelly ever, so he wouldn't understand. Alan's seen Shelly. Has he? Yeah, because when. Like, the very first day Spriggan came, we confronted the thief when he was stealing the Rod of Resurrection, and I turned into Shelly to try and block the window. Mm -hmm. And Helen was there. I don't remember if he was there or not. I know Gregory was there, yeah. and I know Helen was there. I don't know if Chicago was there. She was not. It was Gregory, Helen, and, and that was it. Spriggan. That's right, right. I know I can't help anyone anymore, but I tried. All right. As it turns out the thief could just walk through walls anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, Spriggan, as the new day, as far as you can tell, looms, looms overhead, I want you to roll a wisdom saving throw. Wait, everyone. You better that get rid of the deadly nightshade. You can't help anybody with that. That is a 12. It's a 12. Okay, you save. Um, the day continues. Um, Nikki, are you doing anything? Oh, so you return the horses. Um, it's now that evening. Everyone else is gathered at the tavern. Just want to make a check to start building the capital. All right, make a... Uh, Dexterity tinkering check. 24. Alright. Um, another... Fetal position just rocking back and forth. Another two, three days... Loading through the air. ...of this, and you think you'll have a, uh, a pack. You could carry it like a backpack, and then plant it down, and make a, make a decent catapult out of this. Two. Anyone else doing something that night? 
wallowing in self pity and going <laughs> deeper and deeper into depression. This is um, very sad. <laughs> so, Everyone's little, little is there. I'll, ma- I'll make another sending. <laughs> is it possible we could draw a card to bring him back? Also, wondering what happens if I will help Sheep into something that has a size of large. Draw a card. I so want to know what would happen. <laughs> Try something. I'll do another uh, sending. Uh, well, eh. You turn into like a water bear. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're still wondering where you still are. Still nobody can see you. If you're all right. Oh, cool. It gives sense. I don't know where I am. And I guess I'm all right. You get sent. Mm-hmm. I tell you guys. He seems... Be okay, but he doesn't know where he is. Hmm. I have my deadly nightshade with me. <laughs> <laughs> you do? <laughs> I do. I have all my stuff with me. Yeah. Wait, at the moment you can't access your pouch Does all your or stuff anything? shrink with you? I assume so, otherwise there would just been the <laughs> Yeah, there would just be a pile of stuff. <laughs> just make it screen monitoring <laughs> Well, it'll be thematic Mi- for Micah. Microscopic invisible yeah. spriggan. <laughs> um, like s- would that. spriggan like to do anything? I don't feel like spriggan has the motivation to do anything. He is apathetic at the moment. All right. Anything else you guys do? It's just in fetal position, floating through as quant- the, the quantum normal. realm. Okay. Are you sure, sure you're not drinking more than normal? Oh. Nikki is sitting near you and there. cutting her Sabin's up occasionally. Not there. Spriggan's not there. She looks a little too blacked out, just swapping it out for something else. Evening passes. Oh, it's the no. next day. She's not taking anything. She's just like uh, making Sue, sure you're all sitting in the water. That was the second day after This is the second day. Dis- dis- Disappeared. You're not drunk. I said despaired. Despaired. <laughs> despaired. <laughs> um... Despaired and disappeared. I would like to Not take disappeared Lilith somewhere <laughs> to get sunglasses and show her the dock. Okay. I um, don't think sunglasses are a thing yet, but we're gonna figure that out. So Lilith is walking around with you and she has her veil up and squints at the sun. She has her leaf sun hat on. That's light vision. <laughs> <laughs> so you go to the dock? Get her some sunscreen. Yes. She's gonna burn up out here. Alright. She is covered for a type of armor. Yeah. Um. Okay, so you. Nikki's gonna go too, cause why not? Show her. You, oh, yeah. you show her the docks. Nicole is gonna go. Um, on what's road. left of them? The Russian catch. To the an entire wall of it has been caved in. Mm. Um, Colin. That was me. Albert or Al- Albert? Yeah. yeah. Albert. They're, they're cleaning that up. Yeah. Might be something you um, You see um, the tower it's is currently um, a ways in the ocean, and it's got about three feet of it above water at the moment. What? Um, um, that's right, Torrance forgot to get that. <clears throat> no, no, he never used a Torrance out there right now, doing something. Oh, got it. Yeah. I don't know. Alright. Alright. Um, you shore the dock. You. She walks around. Uh, you don't find anything about sunglasses per se. Just goggles, something. She needs some shades. Um. Okay. Um, anywhere in particular you take her to look for that? I guess the closest would be like a really tightly woven net or something. I mean, people must <laughs> have glasses or monocles. Yeah, he's got a monocle. Yeah, so oh, yeah. people must have glasses. But do they tint them? Stained glass is a thing. Oh, yeah, that's true. There must be... Oh, I don't know. We'd like to make some stained glass spectacles. <laughs> um, we'd, like we'd like to stain some spectacles, please. Do you go to anyone to ask this? The only place I can think of is Fantasy Costco. Mark talks to Larry, but he's probably not gonna know. Larry doesn't know anything. Larry has no. He knows how to Larry make Larry can't help anybody just like me. He knows how to run a business. <laughs> it's kind of like his area of expertise. Yeah. He doesn't know anything. 
He's fortunately on a payroll, which is why you guys are having run for free. That's right. Um, he's a little irritated by your open door policy of guests. <laughs> That's really not my fault. Hey, Gar and his family pay. Yeah, because they're nice. Um, Gar is a nice guy. Um, yeah, you can't really find any place off the top of your head to, to find sunglasses. Um, Gregory, what are you doing? I followed them. Okay. I'll make another check on my on the catapult at some point. Alright. Okay, that's a uh, sixteen. Alright. It's probably gonna be another three days of progress, but you have like the base made. Now it's getting like a, a spring in place, getting the catch mechanism all, all built. I, I, I do do one thing. I don't prepare any spells for the day. Got it. <laughs> um, Nikki, you win it with. Unfortunately, I know my kids. With them, okay. Yeah. All right. Now it's the. Uh, it's the evening. I'll send another one to Spriggan. Okay. Spriggan, we're still wondering where, or still waiting for you. Please come back if you find out how. Are you still alright? Good. I'm still alright, though I don't know how to get back or where I am, but I don't think I should come back. I wouldn't make a difference anyway. Uh, it goes through. These guys. Oh! <sighs> interesting. I thought it was two days. Um, yes. Actually, before that happens, before you send your response, I need to make a wisdom saving throw. I didn't read something, which is natural twenty. You are ah. no longer apathetic. <gasps> so I lose my flaw. So you wait. Hang on, let me check. Do I still have my flaw, or I just no longer have the disadvantage on death saving throws on dexterity checks? Um, yes, you no longer have uh, disadvantage on death saves or dexterity checks, but you. Um, hang on. Yeah, you don't have that flaw right now. Yeah. Wow! That's that was Spriggan's that was an important sentence normal. that I did not read. Retcon. Wait, so did he never have the flaw? No, no, he did. Okay. Um, but it's possible to shake it. I I skimmed over that to the like, oh, someone can just get get have you get over it. But there's uh, you can get over it yourself, and he did. So. Wow, it's pretty good. Cool. Yeah. Yay. Luckily, this is wisdom for you, huh? We're so yes. Proud. I'm very good at wisdom. Um, so that message goes to Spriggan. You're no longer apathetic, or uh, you, you you no longer have that flaw. Although you no longer have that belief. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Oh, um, I don't know where I am. I'm fine. I think maybe I can't really see anything. There's just like shapes. I'm kind of floating here. <laughs> uh, help! <laughs> Wrong. That goes through. Oh, oh, uh, he seems a bit better this time, or something. Uh, of course, thank you. <laughs> it's not so depressed sounding. Huh. Uh, but I don't. But, okay, what time is he? It's, it's the evening, evening again. We're getting close! Uh, Error! But we don't know that! Not yet. Yeah, I mean, you don't know it's a two-day thing. Nope. I'll just send one more to be like, we're trying to figure out well, how to get you out. We're not question. sure, though. That's it. What'd you say? Sorry. We'll try to figure out how to get you out. We're not sure, though. Before you can respond, you... You're back to normal side. size. And you look around. This is still the show. And <laughs> there's... It's a corpse gray sky... There's some crumbling, ruined cities around. It's a depressing outlook. Where are you? You see almost like uh, dragons bleeding shadows as they fly around in the sky. But you're you-sized again. I'm back to normal. 
but I don't think I'm in Kansas anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yes! Yes! Watch this not get through. It's just stuck. Oh! <laughs> no, it's good. Uh, um, where we want to end things, we can start the next session with the I have screen. one thing to check. I feel nothing but necromantic energy. Is that good or bad? <laughs> How do you know what that feels like? <laughs> so I've met ghosts before, remember? Oh, that's true. Um, Spriggan, yes. you are currently trapped in the Shadowfell with no known way in or out. Yep. <laughs> Meanwhile, I think that's a little bit on than being present, but the depressed. southern <laughs> end of folklore. A half elf clad in blue and silver awakes on the shore. Pounding headache, storm cloud in the distance. He stands up, he hears a voice in his head. Wait, what? Well, boy, you made it. And that's where we're gonna leave off this episode. What? What? <laughs> no! Uh, this is worse than reading a book! <laughs> I'm Ben Anderson. <laughs> I'm Micah Morrow. I'm Hannah Anderson. Great Crosley. I'm Sam Tyler. This sucks. <laughs> I'm depressed. <laughs> it's been surreal. <laughs> Artvark. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to say goodbye, Sam. Goodbye. <laughs>